Yes, guys. Yes, guys. Apologies for the lateness and all of that, but everything's just a fucking mess. Everything's just a mess. It took like 10 minutes to make a fucking thumbnail. But we're here. We're here. Big up everybody that's in here. We've got over 200 of you lot, over 250 of you lot in here already. And yeah, welcome to the trenches, people. Welcome to the trenches. We're here to discuss probably Potter again, even though I haven't really heard too many updates on Graham Potter today. We just know where it stands with him. When you lose to Leeds and Dortmund, or one or the other, you're probably going to get sacked. If not, then we really are fucked. We really are fucked. But we got news on pot us potentially going in for Dortmund's goalkeeper, Gregor Kobel. I think I pronounced his name right. You can't really get that one wrong. Um, Mason Mount. We're back to Mason Mount talks as Liverpool are looking very confident in signing Mason Mount. Um, what else do we have? We've got talks on Stamford Bridge and redevelopment plans. Interest in Vardio and Oshimen in the summer, which I'll say good luck to. And yeah, just anything else that I can find. Anything else. Well, I think that's all for today. Big up everybody that's in here though. Like, subscribe, all of that. And yeah, let's see what everybody's saying. Oh, what, what Simon Phillips said? Declan Rice is still on Chelsea's radar. All right, whatever, man. All right, cool. Uh, what else is everyone saying? Big up, big up. Um, big up DK, big up Mully, big up um Andreas, big up Digital Drifter. I mean, that's a great deal, personally. That's a great deal, bro. I'm live, man. Why are you calling, bro? I'm live. Um, what else? Big up Harrison saying, big up, why would Vardio and Oshiman want to join us with no European football next season? I don't think, I've always said, I don't think European football is the be-all and end-all for players. If you drop out for a year, it's not that deep. If it's a case of like Arsenal 2020 or something where you haven't been in the Champions League for like three years and you don't look like you're getting back in there anytime soon, that's when it really starts to hurt you. And you need to start looking looking to unearth gems a little bit more. If you drop out of the Champions League for one year, it's not that deep. Like, we signed Kante. We've signed Kovacic. We've signed um, David Luiz back from PSG. We got, um, I was going to say Hazard, but we won the Champions League that season. We've got good players in spite of not being in the Champions League. Um, even Arsenal, they got the likes of Lacazette, Aubameyang. United, they got Pogba, they got Zlatan, all while not being in the Champions League. Doesn't make too much of a difference. As long as it looks like you're only going to be in it for a, out of it for a year, it looks fine. Um, well, Sparsa tried to sign Badia Shield over the January trance window. Badia Shield was so impressed by Chelsea's project and chose the Blues instead. Love to hear that. Big up Badia Shield. The legacy of the number four shirt continues. Um, what else? What else everyone's saying? My man said my guy even under depression is still grinding streams for us. Can't be us. Yeah, apologies for the lateness, guy. Man said don't know what's longer, waiting for Lewis or a taker ring walk. Respect the undertaker, bro. He takes less time. Unless it's WrestleMania. Then I feel like I'll beat him. Oh, we got a super chat already. Um, Agent Dion is spaced right now. Vardio really wants to go to Chelsea. Kind of believe that. Kind of believe that. Um, oh, speaking of, DK has said, um, I was on Darko's space right now. He said, all young players want to join us as we're trying to build the best young team in the world to dominate Europe for years. So, yeah, I don't even think like having Potter for a season is going to fuck all of that. There's a long term plan with Chelsea. And that's why I'm not too worried about our long term future. I think our long term future is secured. <laughs> Obviously, depending on the signings, but I do believe we're going to get those signings in. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not too surprised by that. Really not too surprised. Um, also, yeah, it's your birthday. Happy birthday, DK. Everyone drop DK a happy birthday in the comments section. Big up. One of the regulars on here. We always see you here all the time. Big up, my guy. Happy birthday, brother. Happy birthday. Just a reminder, Lavia buyout clause will be able to be activated by City in 2024. I mean, with the rumours that we went in for him in deadline day two, I could expect us to go in for Lavia at the end of the season. Great audition at the bridge too, even though it's just not really hard playing against Chelsea because we're fucking shit. 
But yeah, hey, that's good. I'm not worried about us in the long term, man. It's just this season. Get rid of Potter before he sends us to the championship because then we ain't going to look attractive. Champions League ain't the problem. It's whether we're in the Premier League. That's the big issue. Um, what else? What else? Big up DK, big up Seb, big up Steve. Um, big up GG that says 2002 to 2023. RIP Chelsea. Hey, in 2002, we still had more European trophies than the rest of London. So we were still alive before then. Um, what else? What else? I was just arguing about City's fucking thing. Yeah, that's mad. Skater Dan versus OG Spliff. Bigger beef than Surfer v Minerals. Never thought I would see the day. Potty has the fan base on violence. I mean, it has been absolute chaos here the last few weeks. I've actually enjoyed it. It's been the only enjoyable part of being absolutely depressed about my club. I can log into this, I can go live, and I can forget about it after an hour or so because I'm just cracking up half the time. Big up to the panel. Big up to the panel. They are unbelievable. Um, What else? Yeah, good. I love to see that. Big up the happy birthdays for DK. Jester says Mount is going to be a scouser. I know people are crying about it. People are crying about it. Oh, well. Oh, well. Anyway, we move on. No one talk to me about De Bruyne or Salah and then put Mount in the same sentence. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Um, There's another super chat I'm just going to get into. And then we'll go into the Mount stuff. I said I heard Potter rides a skateboard to the bridge. Get out of here, man. Oh, my gosh. Um, yeah, no habits rate, conversion rates. Run the likes. Run the likes, people. Run the damn likes. Um, right, we'll get... We're signing the wrong Chelsea midfielder. Lewis, we need you to do a Mason Mount in protest outside the bridge. That's what I think about your Mount in protest. You can hold that. Uh, big up DK saying he also said lots of money being spent this summer. Targets Oshimen, Lavia, Vardio. Hmm. So we are serious about Oshimen. Mad, mad, mad. Expect two free midfielders to join, and Lavia is expected to be one of them. Let's go. Let's go. I'm already excited for next season. Just get me. This is what I mean when I say get me to my 40 points, and I'm signed out, and I don't care. This is exactly what I mean. I know in the summer, we're going to bring in the right players and we're going to have an even stronger team for next season. And next season, all that negativity is gone. All that negativity is gone. I can be gassed about my football club. We're not going to have bums in our starting eleven. I can't wait. I can't wait. Because the problems aren't even really the new signings. It's the players that were still here from the year before. Well, obviously, that and Potter. I keep forgetting. Potter's our biggest issue right now. Potter's our biggest issue. Lots of players are expected to leave. Mount, Cova. No other roadrunners. Damn it. Damn it. Can't be asked. All right, we'll see. We'll see. Um, big up yourself to DK anyway. Love for the love and happy birthday, brother. Happy birthday. Um, Lewis, talk about the Matt Law article about Stamford Bridge. All right, cool. We can start with that. Um, breaking news, knocking down Stamford Bridge and building a new stadium on the current site is emerging as the most likely option. Chelsea would ideally like to be playing in a new stadium in or around 2030, which means big decisions must be taken in the coming weeks and months. The planning process could take over a year. Meetings between the Chelsea board and the Chelsea pitch owners are taking place. I'm going to be real with you. Moving out of Stamford Bridge and renovating the whole place is probably the most realistic move for us. Like, going stand by stand, I get it. It keeps Chelsea at the bridge, but it makes it very hard with selling tickets. Because, especially if you're staying in Chelsea while that happens, like, it's already hard enough. There's, like, under 40k allocation now because safe standing meant a couple of seats got removed. And with that in mind, you take an entire stand away. It's about 25k or something around that. And there's only 25, there's 25k season ticket holders already. Imagine being a member trying to get tickets to a Chelsea League game dur dur while we're renovating one of the stands. Good luck. Good luck. Because you're going to need a lot of help 
You're going to need to know the right people or you're just going to have to go hospitality. So I think from the fans' perspective, probably from the club's perspective as well in terms of revenue, well, match day revenue as well, it makes a lot more sense for them to move out of Stamford Bridge for about three to four years and just let the place get renovated. Just don't do Craven Cottage. As much as I'd love Craven Cottage because it's so good for me, I just have to walk for about 20 minutes and I'm there. I, I don't think it's good enough for the fans either because it's the same thing. 25k allocation, barely anything for members. Go Twickenham. Go Wembley or something. You'll, you, Chelsea will fill that shit out every week. They'll fill it out every week. I, I So I'm fine with that. I've said quietly, like, the long for Chelsea in the long term, you'd be better off just moving somewhere else. But I understand that you can't do that. The Chelsea pitch owners own the name Chelsea FC. And they control... Um, no, it's not they control. There's a clause that only the club that plays at Stamford Bridge can be called Chelsea FC. So if Chelsea were to move permanently, they have to give up the name Chelsea FC. So that's just not going to happen. So I think it's better for us to just move out. Personally, I think it's much better for us to just move out. But let me know what you man are saying. And yeah, big up DK. Happy birthday to the brother. Love to see it. Love to see it. Great little community we got in here. It doesn't matter who the manager is as long... I hear it doesn't matter who the manager is as long as you have a good captain. Uh, both, both. You need a good captain and a good manager. They go hand in hand. They go hand in hand. Um, big up Lewis, Enrique, or Flick, Eva, Eva. I'm not fussed. We have Graham Potter in charge. I'm not fussed. Uh, what else? Yeah, big up Jimmy. Run the likes, bro. Run up the likes, people. We got over 500 of you lot in here. We, we haven't got 100 likes, though. We haven't got 100 likes. I know we can do more. Bro, whenever I miss your stream, there's always bigger dramas. Jimmy and Daniel, big up yourself, my guy. Big up. Um, What else? You said that about the winter transfer window. Yeah, I, I know, but like it still sent us in the right direction. It's just exposed the fact that Potter is a bigger issue than I gave him credit for. And fair play, everyone who saw this at the everyone who saw this at the start, fair play to you guys. Fair play. But like I still don't think the problems are the players we brought in. They've come in and I think we're a stronger squad as a result. It's just the results aren't showing on the pitch. I think Enzo is a better midfielder than what we had. Um, Mudrik, I do need to see a little bit more from him, but I've seen glimpses. Madweki looks good. Um, Fafana, he's better than Kai up top. Badia Shield, literally three clean sheets on the bounce as soon as he came into the team. So, like, add that with another summer window, and then we get rid of about, of about five bums. We're going to have a stronger team. Get rid of the manager. Get a better manager in. We're going to have a stronger team. And we'll be in a better position. Be in a better position. Um, Lewis, not really too sure about this Gregor Kobel. Apparently, he's the best goalkeeper in the Bundesliga this season. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think he's up there, though. Like, I wouldn't mind bringing him in, but, like, they just signed him a year ago. So, we're going to be paying a massive amount of money for him. So I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, what else? Big up DK saying he said Potter expected to go if we lose to Dortmund. What's the point of waiting until Dortmund? Even Leeds is long, but like if you sacked him after Leeds, I'd understand that you're just giving him one last chance. Why are we waiting to be eliminated from the only competition we could realistically win? What's the point of that? I whatever. Whatever. I'm a Chelsea member. It's impossible to get tickets anyway. Exactly. It'd be even harder if they were going stand by stand. Even harder. <laughs> Twickenham, Wembley. We're going to have the sickest stadium in the championship if they sack him. Um, You have zero chance of going to college. I hope so. I hope so. Um, What else? Yeah, exactly. If you go to Wembley or or Twickenham, you're doing great. You're doing absolutely great. Like we we will sell that shit out every week. I'm I'm not worried about that. There'll be questions about the atmosphere, maybe for the first season, because like you gotta figure out where the 
noise is going to be coming from. Like for most fans, like well, not for most fans. Like for most stadiums, you know where the where the singing fans are going to be. They're usually at either ends. And I know for the first season, it's a bit weird trying to figure all of that shit out. But by season two or season three, should be a great atmosphere there. Should be a great atmosphere. Oh, wait, you're not allowed to have non-Fulham events at the ground. Well, is that the club or the ground that make that claim? Because I feel like if Chelsea offered enough money, they wouldn't care. They wouldn't care. Um, Who would be our poor replacement? Bro, I am not fussed. Some, someone who... At the least, it's just defensive as fuck. But like, I don't mind. I just want someone who can get me to 40 points, and I am out. I don't care. Um, Vardio is a good player, but at 90 mil shouldn't be a priority. That's my thing. Like, I like that we're going in for him. I don't mind, but I mean... Like, we're going to spend another 70 mil on a centre-back when we need midfielders, we need a striker, we need a goalkeeper. Like, I, I don't get it. Also, weren't we just talking about re-signing Le Levi Colwell like a year ago? Well, we're going to have three left footers. I don't understand that. Unless one of maybe Chilwell or Cucurella is leaving, and then we're going to try and shift one of them into being a left-back. I, I, I don't understand it. I don't get it. Like, Vardio, and we know what it is with Vardio. Absolute baller. But um, Silva's staying. Um, Chalaba's staying. Fucking, who else? Badia Shield's staying. And if anything, he looks like our starter on the left. What, is Vardio going to come in and bench Badia Shield? Or is he, or what, is Colwell going? I don't know. Koulibaly's probably leaving, like, in spite of that. And I'm not too fussed with Koulibaly leaving. But yeah, what are you man saying about Vardio? Because I'm in two, I'm in two minds over bringing him in. I'm in two minds. Yeah, yeah, Robert, I agree with you. It's not the new players. It's not the new players. It's the old players. It's the old players. That's why I look forward to the summer clear out. The summer clear out will be beautiful. The ZX here we go. Havertz here we go. Mount here we go. Not the Aspi one. That will still hurt a little bit, even though I understand it's necessary for the cause. But yeah, I ain't here for that. What's my thoughts on Leeds? They're battering us. They're battering us. It ain't going to be pretty, my friend. It ain't going to be pretty. Man, if I see Havertz versus Leeds, you will see it, bro. You will see. I I'm not even shocked about it. I might put a bet they'll be in the lineup. Um, what else? What else? Yeah, there is already questions about the atmosphere, to be fair. Um, what the fuck? Man said Frank back as a stopgap. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Is my Wi-Fi working? Is my Wi-Fi working? Well, to be honest, no one else has said anything. Oh, is the camera stuttering again? I can't be bothered. I need to get another webcam. I need to get another webcam. Big, big up DK saying Darko also said looking to play a back three and a back four next season. Expect 60 to 70 million for Mount. Oh, my gosh. Ha! Oh, imagine. 60 to 7... 60, I thought we could get for Mount, to be fair. If Gallagher's going for 40 million and you're getting bids of that amount from Everton, then you can get 60 million for Mount. 70? You might be pushing it a little bit. But I still think you're capable of doing that. If you sell it in the right way, you could do that. But yeah, Liverpool are looking increasingly confident of signing Mason Mount. And some sources close to Mount have even described a move to Anfield as highly likely. Liverpool links are only getting stronger, people. They're only getting stronger. And I'm not fussed. I'm not fussed. I don't think a lot of people are. And if people are, I don't know why. Because we'll be fine. We're building a very good young team. And Mason Mount does not have to be a part of that team. Like, he's asking for silly wages. He doesn't want to re-sign for over five years, even though we're doing this proper Chelsea narrative and all of that. He's in his worst form. What's the point? And he's got a year left on his contract in the summer. I don't understand the argument, personally. If he wants to go to Anfield, or if he doesn't want to re-sign, there is the door, my friend. There is the door. Thank you for 2021. 
because you're actually one of our key players in that run to the Champions League final. You're not living off a goal like certain other people. But sometimes it is what it is. It is what it is. Mason Mount looks like he'll be leaving in the summer. Oh, well, anyway. What else is everyone, say what else is everyone saying in the comments? Um, Lewis, do you think is there any way back for Potter? He's got to do a madness in the next five games. Five, six, seven games to turn my head. I'm not a flip-flop. Like, Potter's game management, the way he moves in press conferences, the lineups, they're all just shocking. Absolutely shocking. He would have to get everything on point for, like, the next month or two for me to, like, really start getting faith back in him. It's not completely gone, but huh, right now, I'd get his ass out immediately. Get his ass out immediately. I said, I'm 30. What? I ain't 30. I'm nearly 25. About 30. I hope I don't look 30. Fucking hell, bro. Bro, I'm going for a trim tomorrow. I'm just been saying 30. What is this? What is this? Fucking hell, bro. Uh, what else everyone's saying? What else everyone's saying? Why are we acting like Darko is on the board? Now, here's the thing. Darko's got a lot of things correct. He's got the Lavia links correct. He's got um, Sterling being unsettled. Well, not being unsettled, not rating Potter. He's got Kovacic correct. Chakumeka. So, I do think there's a little bit of legitimacy. Apparently, he knows a couple of players as well. He got the Lavia stuff correct. So, like, I'd listen. I'd listen. Personally, but yeah, I said 16. There we go. There we go. I'm glad I look younger. I'm glad I look younger. Let's go. Um, what's your ethnicity? Ethiopian, bro. Because, like, fucking ever since expressions called me Ethiopian car bags, I can't get away from that, bro. I can't get away from, from that. Why do British people use F for TH in words? Like, what? I'm confused. Um, Oh, oh, I get it. 30, not 30. I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, that's it. That's it. He's friends with Lavia. So, like, he's going to have some connections, isn't it? We are 29 points behind Arsenal. What? Wait, why am I surprised? We're fucking shit. Why am I even surprised? Last season, we were 25 points behind Liverpool. Now we're 29 points behind Arsenal. Fuck you now. Big up, Lewis. Let Mount go and just move on. He looks disinterested, and I think it's for the best. Big facts. Big facts. Uh, if Mount leaves, I'm just here for all the tears. I'm here for all the tears. No disrespect to Mount in it. I don't mind. He came, did a job for a couple years, got worse, left. Is what it is. But to the player stands, oh, the player stands, I will be drinking your tears. I'll be drinking all your tears. I can't wait. I look forward to that. I look forward to that. Big up to Klazref, my G. Big up, brother. Big up. Um, yeah, bro, I never lost that one. I was getting called Carlton Banks in secondary school, so I didn't even mind that. It's just fucking hell. People think that's an insult to me. Oh, shut up, you Ethiopian Carlton Banks. Oh, I look like Carlton Banks. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Uh, yeah. Um, what else? Luke Smoove like Makoko trying to play for the under-18s. Their under-18s do not want me in their squad, I'll tell you that. Um, I know we don't have anything to laugh about, but have you seen... Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Expressions is a fucking gold mine, bruv. It's an app. He's a gold mine. Although I didn't want to shout him because of how shit we were. I know I was just walking into an absolute corn session. Um, I'm good. I don't need that. Big up to expressions, though. Big up every time. It's not that you look old. It's that your eyes are dead and Chelsea killed that spark. There you go. That makes more sense. That makes more sense. Why is rotted? Mad. Lewis, you really going to let Johnny and I go on rope watch? The game is the game. Big up to Johnny, though. Big up to Johnny. But, hey, Chelsea don't care about no individual players. We care about the club. We, we care about the club. Um, for Pies tweet, Pies tweet, what's Pies tweeted? What has Pies tweeted? 
Yeah, Chelsea fend off big interest from Liverpool and, ba and Barcelona in January to sign Baddy Shield because he had his heart set on Chelsea and loves the club. Let's go. Proper Chelsea. Proper fucking Chelsea. That is beautiful. Um, cool. Um, yeah, I did see that one. Kendry Pies. Apparently, like, we're very close to signing him. Just not fuss. Like, the brother's 15, isn't he? He ain't going to do anything influential for our football club for at least eight years. Well, not eight years. Let's say about maybe three, four. But even then, it's whatever. Welcome to the trenches, Kendry. Welcome to the trenches. But, yeah, just do your thing. You're 15, innit, bruv? That's got to do his GCSEs and all that. Um, man's, man said, pay me, bruv. What is this, bruv? Uh, big up to Klaus anyway, though. Well, nah, nah, we ain't doing that. Um, What else? What else? Was there any other news? We did Mount. We did Kobol. Vardio, Oshimem. Chelsea are preparing a huge offer to sign Victor Oshimen in the summer. And because what DK said as well, even Darko is saying the same thing too. I don't mind. Like, I'm happy for us to go in for him. I just don't think we will get him. Two years left and you want to negotiate with Napoli after a title winning season? Ha! I don't even know if Boli and Igbali have the minerals for that one. And I wouldn't blame them either. I wouldn't blame them either, but... I am not going to gas myself into an Oshimen transfer until I see it with my very eyes. Because I just don't believe we get him until there's a year left on his contract. And that's not till next season. That's not till the end of next season. So Oshimen, at the, um, after next season, I could get invested in. This, this summer, I don't see that happening. I don't see that happening at all. Um, big up Mwange saying, big up Lewis, what's your number one target for next manager? Um, plus who do you think, do you think with the return of Lukaku, we should give him a preseason, see how he blends in with the team? Love from Boston, Massachusetts. Big up yourself, bad guy. Big up. Love for the love. Number one target for next manager. I don't really have one. Could, I think just Flick or Enrique, but I'm not fussed with either. I think there's pros and cons with both. Um, but yeah, we have the worst manager I've ever seen at Chelsea. So I'm not fussed who we bring in to replace him. In terms of the return of Lukaku, that guy is washed. And he has to make a massive apology to the Chelsea fan base before he's even considered, personally. I, I don't know how we would turn it around with us. Don't really want to see it either. But... I understand. I understand people saying like Lukaku just needed service. Like it's the same thing that I was saying last season. But he's gone to Italy and got worse. We brought him because of his form in Italy, and he's gone back and he's not replicated that at all. He looks washed. So if he's washed in Italy, he's gonna be even worse at Chelsea. I'm not here for it. I'm not here for it. I'd rather if we end up getting him back, just selling him to whoever wants him. Take whatever loss we end up taking and just wash our hands of the entire situation. Ban Lukaku. Ban Lukaku. Um, Oshiman's a baller. Yeah, yeah I, I get that. I, I rate Oshiman and everything. I just don't think we get him this summer. I don't think we get him. No chance. Uh, yeah. What do you think of Pochettino? Oh, yeah, Poch as well. I don't mind Pochettino. I don't mind Poch. Uh, Poch can work well with younger players, can build a decent philosophy. His problem was he was just at Tottenham. That was just it. He was just at Tottenham. Send him to Athletic for Felix. Big facts. Big facts. That's the one. Um, Mwangi also says, personally, I think we need to get rid of the manager before we decide to go in for Oshman. That will happen. That will happen because Potter will not turn this around. I don't think the players rate him. I don't think the, the fans rate him. He's lost everybody. Graham Potter has lost everybody. So I, I don't think he's turning it around, my friend. So, yeah, we will bring in a new manager. 
And in spite of that, like, Oshman will go in anyway. <laughs> Can't believe some fans want... It's, it's just nostalgia with Jose. I mean, if you told me we could get Jose till the end of the season to try and stir the sh to try and steer the ship, I'd take it. I know Jose would just sit everybody back and we'd get results. Long term, nah. It's just over Potter, I'd take Jose. Over Potter. Yeah, Darko says he expects Potter to be gone before the end of the month. Cool, we're gonna have a celebration stream soon. We're gonna have a celebration stream. Let's go. I will be there. I'll be there no matter what, but I'm going to send the link out to the panel. Time to send the link out to the panel. We'll see who's about. Um, while we're doing this, as always, hit the like button. Um, if you want to guarantee I don't miss your comments, drop a super chat. Drop a super chat. If you want to help out the channel, drop a like. Um, if you want to donate, literally, I always say just everyone put in a pound. Everyone put in a pound. And all you lot combined will do a lot for the channel. But I'm not going to tell any of you, man, to do anything. You, man, just being in here, it's all good. It's all good. But, yeah, link's going out. Link is going out. My laptop's not moving slow this time. Let's go. <laughs> Everyone's getting the link. Oh, forgot Daniel and Ibs. There we go. Cool. I think that is everyone. I think that's everyone. Oh, shit. Yeah, I forgot to send... Yeah, fuck. Lee, my bad, bruv. My bad. I remember you super chatted a few days ago. I forgot to send you a link. I sent it to you now, bro, if you're still around. That's my bad, bro. That is my bad. Cool. Cool. Is there anyone else? Anyone else? Yeah, that's it. How's it going? Yes, guys. Yes, guys. What's everybody saying? What's everybody saying? You all good? You all good? Yo. Man, I'm just sad I missed that stream yesterday. <laughs> you can, can rewatch it. You can, can rewatch it. it on Twitter. I, I was watching it yesterday. That's, that's what Our I mean. context I was, was cooking it. yesterday. Yeah, I was watching it last night, and then, but I don't think you understand. I was in actual tears. Like I was in actual tears. I was in actual tears. The part where he, <laughs> by Jimmy, the part where he was like, "You ride a skateboard, don't you?" And then it was silent. <laughs> 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 that that hacky sack was, 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 was legendary, man. Hacky sack. I was crying. <laughs> Fucking crazy, Ooh. bro. Fucking crazy. Big up President Jafar saying Grimsby beat Southampton, by the way. Yeah, um, Sheffield United also beat Spurs. PE teacher I, I think I think Grim I think Grimsby could probably beat us with a nice little one nil. They yeah, probably would. Yeah. At least keep a clean sheet. We still wouldn't score against them. Even if they're in league two. Um big up DK saying Lewis is trending on TikTok due to Chelsea defeats. Fuck you know, I'm I I don't check TikTok enough. I'll have a look. Big up Ayman saying what Potch did with that Spurs team. I'll take him. Yeah, bro. That brother took Tottenham to a Champions League final. Those perennial bottle jobs. I mean, says more about him. Says more about him. Who did you like more, Lewis? Sorry or Tuchel? Yo, yo, I was a sorryista like anyone else, but Tuchel. Tuchel. Like, we ain't going to have that debate, bro. It's Tuchel. Tuchel all day. Tuchel all day. It has to be Tuchel. But yeah, um but give me back Ancelotti any day. It's my favorite Chelsea. Yeah, game. Ancelotti, Tuchel, Mourinho. Well, not Mourinho. Sorry. Um, who else? If anybody who else is Ancelotti, because Madrid don't like they don't want him anymore. If he don't win Champions League, they, they're gonna I don't fire think him. He wants anymore. I think he wants to retire. I, yeah, I, the I, game I think is. He, I, 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 I think wish the game we is moving him. away from him. The game is slightly faster, slightly more different for for us. Uh, for uh, I know what I know, he won the champion league and stuff. But I think that that is slightly different. But uh, I think he's he wants to retire. He might go to the Brazil team, apparently. Yep. 
Who? Angelotti. Angelotti. Yeah, I saw that report mm. too. Yeah, but but yeah, I don't I like I, I I like Angelotti then, but uh, uh, I don't know. Like he likes to have a little bit more mature team. So you gotta look at the Chelsea next manager from that specific angle too. Oh, why do we care? Really why do we care about the new manager? We just need to get the right captain, and they can overcome any manager. That's what I was <laughs> told. Like, <laughs> you're such a baby. I mean, I, that, that's, that's, that's what y'all were talking violence. about yesterday. That you don't need a good manager. You just need no, a good captain. Oh, no, 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 what, no. You don't need a good. Uh, from your view, you don't need a good, a good uh, captain. You just need a good manager. Right. I'd, I'd rather right. take a good manager than a good captain any day of the week. I mean, you, you must be a really, really popular in your team. That sport of you played, you need whatever sport well, you played. Again, a manager gives you the tactics. Uh, a captain That's... doesn't. <laughs> a manager, you know, does training that the captain uh, doesn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember you. You were told me the tactics. There's no defense can, if the proper offense set up, there's no defense can ever beat uh, a proper offense. Yeah. Tell right. Me about good it. offense beats good defense. Not true. Not true. That is true. Not true. Uh, that is no, true. Chelsea, true. 2012 semifinal against. Is the it 2012? Team. Is it 2012? We have different rules now. What's not, the new rules? Okay, what's the different rules? Yeah, that was well, about that. You, you yeah. really can't play defense anymore and get away with it like you used to do back in the day when you be physical. No, mm. it's what? a foul. Nah, I don't agree with that. I don't. Know Are you that. seeing things now? Like imaginary yeah, no. things? I'm seeing things. How many times like do you do? Let's go down in the box as a penalty. What? What do you? Well, sorry, say again. I said, how many times do people get touched to go down in the box and as a penalty? Yeah, but I mean, those that's called less oh. nowadays than it was back then. Yeah, yeah I was it's 2012. Less nowadays. It's called less nowadays. Yes, 2012 was flop central. Really I don't think that. I don't think that defense is. Oh. I mean, let me just say this. The way teams want to play defense now is different from 2012. Like, you don't see a whole lot of teams that defend with, like, 11 men behind the ball anymore. Teams try and to play – You just hoof it defense. out. Yeah, you don't if see you much chose, of that. If you chose to play 11 men behind the ball and uh, eliminate the spaces, take away the gaps, very hard to break down. Extremely yeah. hard. You know, you, you, you can play that great defense and then somebody quirk, uh, quirks I just a 30-yard uh, Galazzo and then it doesn't matter. I want to know what play. sport – <laughs> hold on a second. I want to know what sport does that where we have a specific offense and specific defense structure and they meet each other. I want to know what sport. What are you, what are you talking about? I, I didn't even hear, understand NFL? what you're saying. Oh, thank NFL, you. NBA, NBA. <laughs> NFL what? What did you say? What you say about NFL? I'm saying I mean, like, that's what he's describing. What's, yeah. What sport is the, like that describes the uh, uh, gestures tactics? When the offense properly set up, the defense doesn't have no chance. NBA, what NFL. Sport? That, no, NFL, yeah. it, well, sorry, I don't, I don't agree with that because in America we say defense wins championships. So I don't I, know. I, no, 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 no. But that, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying in general, how you, that's how I think Jester thinks, and that stereotype of oh, you Americans don't know this, uh, the football game, it comes from those kind of, uh, from those kind of comments. Mm. But, but no, but in I'm America, serious. in. In I'm America, to, I, I, couch. Am I joking? Am I? But in America, oh, in sports, <laughs> in America, in sports, we all we all know, like regular season, Don't mean it, the average the average player just runs crazy. But in the playoffs, defense ramps up. That's exactly. kind of what wins you championship yeah, the defense. They, they they lack the calls. Yeah, so defense wins championships. That is, that, that, I, that that's just how it goes. In every sport I've ever played, that's always been the motto, and and you know that my coaches always always said, no matter what the no matter what our offense do, if we don't let them score, we can't lose. I, I, maybe maybe what maybe what Jester's saying, and correct me if I'm wrong, the best teams right now in Europe are attack minded teams. Is that correct? Well, what I'm saying is, Man City in their flow. Lost to Real Madrid. Doing. Okay. Lost to Chelsea. 
Yeah, because I, yes, I was you're, about you're to say picking out individual games. They won the Premier League for almost like for like every year, basically, and they've done it with a tremendous amount of points. So you can you can pick and choose this game, this team game, this game. But overall, you don't stop Man City when they're playing their game and their flow. And they you score a lot of goals. Down, but you ain't stopping them. What do you mean you ain't stopping them this year? I think it just goes back to how teams are. are but if you were saying exactly. you wasn't stop, but that's just as that can't be true. If you can't stop them, they will win the Champions League every year too. So they clearly can be stopped. Another another good point. Look, they never what they literally never win not, it. They are not stopped. More times than not, they are not stopped. But right? they are they, stopped, they though. Stopped. But they are stopped. At the, at the highest level of competition. We know. Stopped. Okay, we understand yeah, what like, you mean. Like, he comparing the playing half of the season with the Burnleys and stuff versus Real Madrid. Like, the defenses are, like, no, the same. Not. Like, when Real when, when when Man City reaches not just not just the Prem, but when, when they reach the knockout stages of Champions League, that's not this. You don't see the man, same Man City. So that knocks away your whole logic of they're not stopped. Even when they're advancing, they're not beating teams four and five nil like how they are in the league. They're squeaking by one and yeah. two goals. So that's not the same Man City. If you so you can't the say past, they can't be stopped. Yeah, if you take out, if you take oh out the my past gosh. two, three seasons. I, I'm I mean, sorry that, I, that I made a nuanced argument and nobody here can actually follow stuff, but that's okay. Dog, we get what you're saying. We get what, what you're saying. What we just saying. don't agree. It's, just it's, it's okay. We just if don't you, agree. We don't get what I'm saying because, on average, nobody's when Man City is at their in their pump, nobody was stopping them. They they yes, tore up the league. Them. You keep saying them. nobody yes, stopped them, them, but they never hold won hold Champions hold on, League. Hold on, hold on. Guess who stopped them? Leon. Guess who stopped them? RB Leipzig. Stop talking like they, they, they like oh yeah, like God. what you're saying, not making any sense. Yes, they sir, the Man City is just one example. You, you actually don't understand. So that's fine. Really well. Move on. They but that's the, if what you if what you're saying was I was didn't true, say they couldn't be stopped. I said on average nobody stopped them. Do do so they won on average? average. Yeah. They what? Won average. They haven't won a championship. Doug, hold on. Let me ask you a question. You have to look at the sample size. There's a lot of shady teams that play too. On average. What team is below the table, or the teams that in you, uh, the teams that are average better than are below the table teams? What's the average? That's not even what I said, but that's okay. Goddamn 47. All right, just move on. This is a dead argument. Kick push, President Jafar. Kick push. <laughs> yeah, big up President Jafar saying I had a skateboard at 10, Jimmy. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> and Ivan says, just the white man city translate that uh, into the Champions League. And yo, Talk skateboarders aren't nerds, man. I, I, they're not nerds. Yeah, look. <laughs> no, no, it was just funny. It was just funny. Slow down, down, on, that one. Funny. <laughs> Slow down on that one. Maybe hacky sack, but not, not skateboarders. Yeah, that, that, yo, the, the hacky sack hockey, was really man. supposed to be the insult, not the skate. But, all right, <laughs> when he said he's from Long Beach, right, if people don't know, that area I, is, is, you know, like, if you know the area, surface. you know what I mean. You should have called them no, surface course, yeah, more yeah. than... Uh, North side yeah. Long Beach. Yeah. Yeah, 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 skateboarders. You should call yeah, them yeah, surfers. Yeah. The same shit. Okay, who knows the Patrick Swayze's. You should call them Patrick Swayze's. <laughs> <laughs> who knows skateboarders? Oh, but winning by the way, look, the funny Daniel is my boy. I will defend Daniel. Daniel oh, is actually yeah, good. Yeah, Daniel is a bad man. man. He's a bad man. Daniel is a really good, knowledgeable person of Chelsea specifically. Like, oh yeah, that wasn't really that good. that wasn't questioning his ball knowledge. Yeah, yeah, him, yeah, yeah. Him trying to, you know, don't talk to me like that. I'm not a kid. You know, but yeah. yeah, I will defend Daniel. Daniel is a cool dude, but we move. Mm -hmm. But yeah, uh, Justice, did you want to respond to Eamon quickly? Why? What's the point? Oh, I don't know. He just no, dropped I mean, Jester, just man. Man. Just a, come uh, on, man, Jester, man. Kai, no, the really. guy paid uh, you know, two dollars, man. Two dollars. Good, you two dollars. <laughs> you you, you, you got to say something, later. dog. <laughs> 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 Appreciate the donation, Eamon. Big up, my guy. At least he Big didn't up. call you. Uh, he didn't call you cunt this time. That same guy. <laughs> Just hey, oh, oh, that's the guy that called him. <laughs> uh, 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 you know, he's just mad as, as fuck. His mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, dog. You gotta say that now, just Come on, dog. Whoa. Oh, but it's okay. Somebody can call me a cunt, but I can't say that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, nobody called you a cunt, dog. I, mean, I called you a twat, dog. 
Oh yeah, you oh, see, you I think they admit it. Oh, yeah, so you admitting yeah, yeah. it now? Oh no, wow. you admit it. You're admitting it now. <laughs> wow, are you admitting it now? Wait, who said that? Who said that? Was doing up. Who said that? Who said that the whole who time? And I thought Alex said, was tripping that that's day. That's why I was mad because that guy was, did not did not put. Had the he didn't want to own up to it. Yeah, yeah. he didn't want to own up to it. That's all right. <laughs> The, the guy, the guy, was, the guy on Twitter. There was another guy Yo, on Twitter. Keep DMing like, me. He's like, Alex, it wasn't him. It was Fatur. I looked it up. I was like, dude, I know it's not Fatur. I hope y'all realize he made a mistake and snitched. I, I hope y'all know he made a mistake and told on himself this now. He didn't mean to do that. Y'all do know that, right? Come on, dog. Man. Yeah. You're not that deep. Yeah, you made a mistake and just told on yourself. You're not the brightest yeah, criminal. Man. Yeah, man. Don't worry about it. He's right. gonna nick me. He's um, gonna come and kill me. Uh, what, what you gotta guys? kill yourself, man. You don't need to, nobody else need to kill you, man. Shut Your up, thoughts man. will kill you yourself, man. You, you don't need to do that. <laughs> no, you're gonna say it to the wrong person someday. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe yeah, have to yeah. know. Just a man. In their face, then they gonna knock the hell out of you. I know, man. Your damn if you're, if you're, with your years of experience, that's probably something you tell me. Come on. Like, yeah, what are your years experience. of experience, experience you're talking about? Talk your 16 years of life, man? I can't whoop. Because when you do, you get your ass whooped. Hey, put, put no one's with my ass, dog. Yeah, you no think. one's with my ass, dog. You think? I know. I know, yeah. homie. Yeah. Okay. Such a yeah, so many brave people. Be the 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 world world too, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so many American brave people are hiding behind I know, the cameras, man. man. My, my, my ass is not the greatest. My ass, yeah, I know. Where do you live, man? Tell them where you live, man. Yeah. Who, me? I'm not going to fly, man. If I'm going to go to another country, I want to go there for, for son and girls. There's, for, there's, to, a to plenty of people who, there's a plenty of people around the world who can find you where you're at. You don't okay. need to fly. <laughs> I find my house to do what, Alex, man? What? What's, you're going to find me and then do what? I, you ain't worth my time. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. All right, then. Uh, all right, Jester. All right, Jester. <laughs> Well, what's going on with Chelsea? What's, no, what's no, the no. new news? Like, uh, like, why, why are you trying to be? Why are you anyway? Like, why am I? Yeah, come on, <laughs> come on, <laughs> Alex, man. Let's just leave it, man. Yeah, move you on. Leave it, but you're the one that started with Jester. That's why I don't like it. I didn't it. start like, with you... Jester, man. Why do you all do shit and then say leave it? Like when leave you get a it, response, <laughs> I don't get that. <laughs> For every action, there's a reaction, bro. <laughs> This so how long are we gonna? How long are we gonna react? How long are we gonna react for? How long are we gonna react for? That's the thing. We're, I think we're all here for a Chelsea street. I, I haven't said that. Yeah, yeah, but you're the but one you that just... started it stuff. Like, you did go on on yourself. All right, all right. How how do I stop this? What's, what do I do? Don't you cut it here. The, um, boy, the tutorial. Give me the tutorial. There's a red button at the bottom say that says leave. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Next time, next time, next time, next time. Nah, you good, you good, you good, you good. You good. You good. <laughs> next time, next time, next time, next time. <laughs> next time, next time. Oh, Jimmy, bro, you're fucking it, hilarious. Is it the bro. one with the camera? And don't call me a twat because I'm in England regular, so I'll come look for you. <laughs> <laughs> and I have some Eastern Europeans that. friends who live yeah. in England, so yeah. just give me the link, Alex. How <laughs> we'll find him. We'll find him. Too... Shall I drop a postcode? Yeah, you want your postcode? Let's go. Uh, I wouldn't do that soon, but it's up to you, brother. It's up you to in you, London? Brother. I'm in London. What part of London? I'm from <laughs> East London. Oh okay. yeah, let's like let's let's start dancing east west. Like if you were, if you're brave enough, first of all, turn the camera on. Then uh, the I'm, I'm at work at the moment. I'm at the work. Oh, oh okay. I, you ain't working if you're on this on this show. Yes, he is. You work at home. Right? You ain't working. You're getting paid well, to do something. But yeah, there's doing. a tough there's a tough place in McDonald's. Like he can't himself in McDonald's. If I hear that, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, 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 he's a cook at that though. He doesn't want to show He doesn't want to show extra order of fries. Put that peri peri chicken on, yo. <laughs> Come on, my boy. The Nando chef. <laughs> Put that peri peri mm -hmm. on, B. Yeah, for sure. For That's sure. the first thing oh. I do when I go to Nando's. I put my American accent on. You! Eat that peri peri. <laughs> <laughs> they love that shit. Put no, peri man, peri not, on everything. I'm not put really it in the my best soda. of chefs, man. I'm not a good chef. 
Uh, okay. You're not a good cook either, sounds like. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Not, not really the best. Not really my strong point. Uh, let's move on. Come on. Let's start. Let's start. Yeah. We move. Yeah, we move. So, 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 so. Is, is this, is, are these manager links concrete then, or is it just something we're speculating at the moment? Because I feel that like Potter's going to see like the rest of the season. Enrique twerking to get over oh, here. It's, it's just, yeah, oh, I feel yeah. like we're just gonna, I think the circus is just going to continue, man. I don't, I don't know when this is going to end. We're going to get us manager. Actually, we're not going to. I'm not gonna lie. You reckon it's all about the captain, though? Yes, yo, oh, it's all about the captain. You get the it's right all about the captain, you just that's right. Nothing yeah. about the manager. Put that, put that armband on Reese, and we good. Well, I don't hey, know if Reese. No, apparently, is it has to be John Terry. So we have to, we have to resign John Terry, bring him out out of retirement. Put the no, on no, him. we can't do that. There's too many of them players gonna have to hide their wives. <laughs> he's gonna be calling the black players. He good, uh, he's gonna be calling the black players monkeys. Nah, we can't get John Terry back. No, that's why we can't get that. Oh that's not gonna be good for the locker room. <laughs> yeah, he's either gonna fuck your wife or call you a monkey. Either way, it's not good. It's not good. Stop, you gotta get John. Keep him out of there. He's a legend, man. <laughs> he's a legendary prick. That's what he is. Loud that, man. man. Loud that. You're not gonna nah, man. that. That dude is. That dude is something else, man. Apparently, runs in the family. The dad, right? Oh man, a lot of people don't know about the dad. Yeah, I've been told about the dad. Gee, I heard yeah. the dad is ten times worse. <laughs> I heard that's why he can't get a job at Chelsea. Like he, he's never going to get that top role because of oh, yeah. you know, because once he becomes the the, the face, people going to dig up all the dirt, and it's going to be like, okay, it's not good. Yeah, it's hella dirt, but he's a if it doesn't come up now, it ain't coming up, man. Like he was oh, no, it's no, right it, 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 it ain't gonna come up now because he's not in a position of power. What do you mean? Yeah, he's the captain of he's England. Hit the whole, he's no, don't that's yeah. not important. What, that's not important. Why, why is the son has to answer for the sins of the come father? On now. Come on now. He's no, I'm talking about his no, son. he's a but he ain't he, what do you mean? He, he's just <laughs> a, like a less of a scum than his dad. Like I understand what I know what he did, what he said was wrong, but I don't think he said it out of malicious things. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, that's like, like, uh, oh, I don't know. Nah, Alex, yeah. Alex, I'm not going to say for anyone I've ever met. That's that's for sure. I'm not, I'm not uh, backing uh, up anyone uh, yeah. I have not met and had conversations you know with. So, and it did, it did come up a few months ago too with the Rio Ferdinand argument. Yeah, sorry. Ferdinand, Rio, Rio don't yeah. come off like a liar. I'm, I'm good on that. Yeah, I'm good on Terry. Yeah, no. brother, right? Yeah, yeah. they have no reason no. to lie. Exactly. I mean, look, yeah. what, how, I don't know the guy, but based on what I know from what I watched on TV and stuff like that, I like how I can make that that this, uh, that uh, concrete. Uh, well, if you based it off of what said. he said and then base it off his father, and then you said you can't blame him for the sins of his father, but if you go off of his father mm -hmm. and then what he said, you don't take one plus one makes two every time. Yeah. One plus one, one makes two every time. I mean, it's not for me to like. It's the people, like I'm yeah, not. Yeah, I, I, I understand you what you're it? saying. I understand what you're saying it's because not, it, I'm not the right. Uh, yeah, you're like, not the uh, offended party, so you're not gonna feel. It. I understand. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I have nothing to say about it for because I'm not the one that actually uh, it, it didn't offend the Russians. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I right. definitely, you see I what definitely saying? understand. So what you mean. I'm not yeah. the one that could be telling what. Who am I to tell if he's right or wrong? But I'm just saying, like, Ashley Cole was defending him. So, for me, that was the... Yeah, but Ashley Cole didn't hear it, though. That's the thing. Like, Ashley Cole uh, actually said, I did not hear it. Back. And they're oh, both friends. Because I thought, he, still, said, still I thought he said he heard it, lie. and he said that he didn't say it. No, I, 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 I apologize. Oh, you said he didn't bringing hear it. Bringing him up. Yeah, yeah, we got yeah. a lot of things, Jester. Huh? It's just, it's healthy convo. We're not gonna argue. We're not gonna cut. I mean, yeah. but that you was bring the, you bring the stuff up, you tear the shit up, and then you're like, "Oh, I'm the innocent one over here." The first, the for the for, from 20 minutes of the stream, you started the three scrappy shit that people <laughs> argued, and now you're saying like, "I'm the innocent guy." I didn't say that. You started the argument about the captain. You yeah, started. I did. The, <laughs> so and now he's like, I'm sorry, like I'm the innocent one. I didn't do this. The victim. You... <laughs> I, the, 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 the My house is at the I edge. I'm not involved. Well, you gotta stir the pot before you leave. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah, that's like, what that's what he literally... usually do. Stir the shit, and he's like, I gotta go to work. Well, I do have to go to work. I mean, man, you gotta make money. He's gonna drop a bomb soon. He's gonna drop a bomb yeah. and cut. Because the other day it was he would take 
he would leave. He would take Kai and then uh, sell Sterling, and he got out of here. And then we argued yeah. about that. For about <laughs> and there was a oh, fight yeah. going on over here, and he's like sitting over there. Yep, I'm you know what he's doing. It. Smoking a cigar <laughs> and watching well, people. I mean, argue. who doesn't like the light of bag of shit on somebody? Yeah, that, that, <laughs> just as a he's, he's 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 like Don King on this show. He know how to put the fights <laughs> together. <laughs> Promoter. Yeah, he's a promoter. Yeah. So what's this news about Enrique, man, twerking? What's what's going he's on? He's twerking. Right? He's telling Chelsea he's ready to get back in the game. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, there's, the there's no, there's no uh, hope in this one. This one is finished. Isn't he with Spain? The brother. They need a tip. No, Enrique's fired. finished. So he got he fired. Won. Oh, you got fired. Or quit. Right. or quit, something like that. No, no, I think man, it was the this, end of this contract. This, this Yo, squad man. needs Jesus, man. There's, there's I'm no. not going to lie, man. If, if it came down to it for me, I'd take Enrique. I'm not going to lie. Just given the track record, this guy is a man that told Messi, the greatest player ever to play, that he needs to go play on the right outside of his preferred position, benched him and Neymar. Like, he's, he's, he's a guy that has his own idea of football. Like, if you can take, if you can take the greatest player in the game and tell him you're playing over here and – sit him up certain games or whatever for whatever reason that's the kind of manager i want somebody that has no here's, fear here's what like, I, 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 here's, here's my yeah, idea. I, I feel like some some players can take that criticism and some players can't and i don't know yes, what, 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 well, what yeah, the ones who can't take it gotta go i don't think the, the player these players in our club are sitting on a pedestal that are so high that i don't know why they they, they think that they're so glorified that they, they need I feel to like get Enrique back down has the reality the to break him down I would do yeah. this thing. I will not be, I will fire Potter immediately. That's because he can actually make worse for Chelsea than what it is right now mm -hmm. with young squad. Because yeah. that's yeah. number one job. Second, I wouldn't be really, really like on the rush this time like they did previous time. They so you're bringing the uh, interim guy. You're bringing the interim. I will either interim. I will take. I will take Benitez into the end of the season. Or, or mm -hmm. no, no, no. Hold on a second. Couch, uh, uh, just uh, hear me out. What about Benitez, Big Sam? That's, that's, that's not a bad no, take. I will take. I will take. I, I will like to finish my sentence. I will take Thiago Silva on the uh, on the temporary until the end of the season. Play a manager. Play a manager, I don't, okay. I don't, yeah, yeah, I don't want, yeah I, play a manager. It's not about the manager that what it, it's now. I want to be more thus a thought process in hiring next manager than what they did before. That's it. I just don't want to be the rational thing. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't want to make a mistake either. I don't think that you can make a mistake with somebody like Enrique, though. Like, I, well, I but but, but want, Enrique what, wouldn't what Enrique? be interim. I think he would want long term. Oh, of course. I'm not talking about interim. I'm saying don't no, worry no, no. about interim. If you I'm have not a target like it, Enrique or Flick or somebody like that, that's not interim. Yeah, Flick, I see. Enrique, what Enrique are you talking about? Enrique before Barca? Enrique after Barca? What do you mean Enrique after Barca? You went to because he only had one yeah, good season with Barca. Well, he went to Spain after that. What do you mean? Yeah, and he plays terrible football with Spain. I don't know about that, man. They played some. Well, he doesn't have much talent in Spain. Spain. And not to mention, not to mention that he brought, he brought through Pedri it, and Gabi who are looking pretty what good. You, what do you mean by players. terrible football? Was it winning side football? Side and doesn't do anything. No, <laughs> cycle <laughs> recycle. I think Flake is the, the probably my highest centre back over broken down Busquets. No way, man. <laughs> he plays Olmo, Morata, and Ferran Torres up front consistently. Looking for the same. What else football. do they have? That's because he doesn't that's, have a yeah, plan that's all they B. Have. What else do they have? He doesn't have a plan B. Yeah, I was about to say they don't really have no attackers in Spain right now. What about that attacker that plays for Valencia? Yeah. Which one? I think he was hurt. Oh, for... Pereira? No, that, 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 oh, he's not. That's that's I'm talking about Mor Morales. Um, what's his name? I'm gonna say the Real. oldest guy, right? Yeah, you're talking I'm about Villarreal. That's Villarreal. Oh, Villarreal, yeah. 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 Why not, why not Why not? Why not getting him? Playing. He's on fire as the striker right. for, in so, Spain. So, so in the Euros he was. He's playing, better than Morata. No, no, he is. But in the Euros he was playing. But I think he got injured prior to the World. Yeah, Cup, that's why he couldn't mistaken. be in the. Yeah, he was injured. He was he injured. Was they, they really, they really don't have a lot of options. If we're being perfectly honest, they really don't have. options. Yeah, they don't have much of a cycle, right. man. Let's be real. They're at the end of a cycle now. So yeah, exactly. Yeah, but but as far right. as I'm concerned, like when you look at Enrique, don't forget Enrique won the the La Liga twice, right? He won the treble. He won the treble. Dog. He won the treble. Like no, no he doubt he had generational okay. talent. I'm not, I'm not denying that. Like he had yeah. generational talent there. But the fact that he can take those players on and build a winner around them is still impressive to me. Of Still course impressive. that is. Uh, like, look, we're looking at the. We'll look, I think between Enrique and Flake and that uh, 
there is plenty of options to uh, even what's his name Zidane. Don't say Pochettino. I, I mean, it. I ain't having it. Listen, it's listen, fine. It's like fine. He like failed at PSG. Yeah, I, I don't really like Zidane. Who party. didn't? Who, really did like Tuchel, did Tuchel succeed at PSG? Yes, he did. He won the league. Okay. Okay. Poch, Poch in his first year, did not win the league. Well, he, he won, won the league. Second, he won the second year. Yeah. Yeah, well, his first year, he didn't. When he had he won won more talent well, than anybody else in the Yeah, the that's league. true. Yeah, he didn't. Yeah. He Again, yeah, a league year. that you should be winning every year, right? Right. Like, that, like that, Enrique should have won the La Liga with that front three. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. And he did. Yeah, exactly. So. And as long as it's no, as he's saying manager, like winning a treble against English. against Real Madrid <laughs> is impressive, regardless. Not even that he won the sextuple, right? He Who was Real Madrid's manager then? Um, it was Ancelotti first. Zidane, and, and then wasn't it Zidane? Zidane came in. So oh, Benitez. Benitez. Yeah. Benitez. Benitez. Yeah, yeah. Benitez. Well, Benitez? Oh, shit, yeah, <laughs> true. <laughs> true. Good point. <laughs> yes, we know that Poch took took Spurs to the final. Did he win it? No. Here's the thing so, about Poch that next, I guess we yeah, didn't have a good offensive team. We didn't win it with PSG. That's saying a lot. <laughs> Here's the thing about Poch. have a good offensive line. Two this guy, this guy had a, a core of players that he had was able to buy in that were able to buy into his style of football. Right? You know who they were. The few players that he was. As soon as they started to bring in different players, younger players, like all these new names, like into the squad, none of them were able to find to, to play his football. And then they progressively started getting worse and worse and worse. I don't, I don't like a guy that can only work with one specific squad. I want a guy that's adaptable that can say Versus like, okay, well, yeah. I have this guy, this guy, this guy. What can I do with these guys? He's not that. Well, guy I don't understand why you want uh, what's his name, Enrique, Enrique? because he won, because he only plays one way. What do you mean? He played. He played. He with the players, back three. He played with no, the no, back no, 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 no. It's not. He's talking about the style of play. He's talking about that rainbow play. football. Yeah, when, you, play. He plays. Yeah, when you go I mean, from your, your left idea, back man. to your left center back I, I like, I like, to your right center I, back. I, I, to your right back, Doug, I call that rainbow football. Like in, the, in the like in the in the in the toilet or something like. Yeah, it's okay to get closer I mean, to the microphone, dog. To be honest with you, most of the top managers are ide- ideal. Really that to be honest. That's how we play right now, rainbow football. That's what I call it. We just create a rainbow. No, no, no. I don't think we don't have a style. <laughs> All right. Well, as long as the next manager is not English, we're fine. <laughs> no, more no man. No now. xenophobia. I hate xenophobia. Come on. We no, they're it. terrible. I think it's the I think it's the percentage like Texas holder. Hey. You know the percentage? You bet on the percentage. You probably nah, higher, man, we can't, you we can't probably, say that. Hold on a second. You probably higher percentage of succeeding, not hiring ma- English manager. You know, if you bet in man. If you hire a non English manager, you will probably have a more return on your money than you not. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm, Just I'm don't hire no English managers. Get rid of all your English <laughs> midfielders. You'll be fine. No, nah, y'all are buggy, man. Stop, man. Y'all can't see. No, no, one, no one wants Steven Gerrard at the wheel, then. No. What's the wheel? Why I go to work now? <laughs> Discuss. <laughs> this guy always. Yeah, and then comes in the chat and say, "Oh, y'all talking shit about me when I left." Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna I'll be back in about fifteen to twenty minutes. <laughs> it's been real, brother. Take care, Later. bro. Big up, Jesse. Yeah. A uh, big up Scoy can that same big up from San Diego. Yeah, big up Jester, big up Jester. <laughs> <laughs> big up Scoy can that same big up from San Diego, California, listening while rollerblading. <laughs> All kidding aside, I enjoyed your stream. Spread the love and respect, lads. Up the chels. Big up my guy. I don't know how much love big there up. are in, there is in these streams, but we'll send love to you. Big up my chief. It's, so it's, it's, it's just comedy. It's just comedy. It's just comedy, yeah. Yeah. Thing with thing with Enrique is that he doesn't he he drops big names like you said like Ramos too like Ramos is in a good form and he just he just dropped him out of the World Cup squad. You know. I think so Enrique he's, he's a manager. Man. He's, he's a thing. manager. He's a guy that but says this is this he makes the tough decisions. Yeah. Like, you exactly. Say, we compare him to Potter right now. Potter, he's just scared to make tough decisions. He has favorites. Yeah. Potter has favorites. He doesn't drop. Them. I don't even think it's favorites. He's just a, he's a scared to death to make the decisions. That he knows will, yeah. you know, divide the fan base. You Give him back, backlash. Yep. Exactly. Yeah, I don't. I think the, he feels the, guilty with those players that sit on a bench, like he's feeling guilty that way he didn't play. You <laughs> yeah, know what exactly. I'm saying? Like, I mean, I don't know about that because the, the way the way Carney's holding bench, you would think he has some, a personal vendetta against him or something. Because there's some players that are holding bench tighter than 
tighter than tight. Good luck. I think he's the one yeah. that had more minutes in, when Poach came uh, when uh, uh, Potter came in. Cool. As a side. Yeah, he's giving he's giving him a lot of minutes. Carney, no, I'm talking Carney. about now. I'm talking about now. Yeah, but you yeah, gotta also the, remember. Are you talking about 18 years old kid who's supposed yeah, to? Yeah, I was about to say you gotta remember he's still a and, kid. And, no, no, I know, I know, but what we're talking about in the positions of the field where we where we could use his attributes. Yeah, but like, he's still a kid. Exactly. Uh, 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 hold on no, a second. No, I know, it's but instead of continuously instead of continuously using Mount, we can use him. Look, look, if you're a betting man and you any kind of thing, you still yeah, you're gonna bet that for Mount. seven. Do for seven? Yeah. Look, you will put the Mount on the field more than you will put Chuk uh, uh, Chukameka in it. Oh, without question. It's a track yeah, record. That's not even conversation. Like, yeah, it's not even you, close. But he can get five minutes. Here. But the yeah, problem, the problem minutes. Potter would have is right. he wouldn't pull him off no, at the 60th you. minute or something like that when he looking like crap. Pull him off. You put Chico in the not any you don't let him touch the field whatsoever. I'm sorry. You're just What's going that? on his recent. You guys going on what he's done previously, which is been crap. You don't put Mount on his crap at the moment. You put someone well, else on even you. Mount does not go in as uh, as a player. I know, he, but there's... recently he has been. What I'm saying is maybe he shouldn't be the first one you turn to if he's not in the form that he's in. I Try agree with you, different. but that's how actually it, managers which it, think. Which makes it... The decision he's making makes it weird since he's the one who's actually gave True Kamika the minutes in the first place. Not Kamika's too cool. It was Potter that's given yes. True Kamika the minutes, which makes, it, which makes it weird. Another decision... Which has no answer, which he hasn't given any answer. Why isn't he getting so? Uh, because the other midfielders were a lot more injured than the, in the beginning of the season. Yeah, well, than well now. Exactly, but even even still, like with them returning and stuff like that, he's not even getting he's not even getting the minutes from the injury. It's track, weird. Right? It's weird because he yeah. was getting like steady cameo appearances. You know, I yeah. agree with that. It was more yeah. injured players than that's why he was want a spark off the bench. If you can find guys that could come off the bench and give you a spark, you should give yeah. them. By more the way, how many that. how many of those starting games or minute games was in the cups? Because remember, we played FA Cups. We played well, he before, so he was playing at those. Yeah, we have no more uh, side he did, It's not like he played in a Premier League game. He did constantly. He, did. I mean, he came against Liverpool, he did, right? Against Brentford, Man City. Yeah, Liverpool. but when we played Liverpool, we are struggling with injuries again. Right, but what I'm saying is, he wasn't. But then that's the last one. We've still struggled with injuries after that, and you barely saw him again. So. And we got the guys returning from injury that I look. I'm just, just trying to. I'm just trying. I'm not saying it's uh, it's right. I will take Chukameka versus Mount. The problem is, if you manager that fighting for the job and fighting for some kind of winning point or but, you, but will, Alex, you 99 of the chances you will go the guy that has more experience. Alex, how many times starting on sub? Does it take you to realize that Mount doesn't offer you anything? That's the thing. Starting and stuff, that's that's the reason why we want to sack. Why chances. we want him to be sacked? No, no, that's what I mean. So he gets Mount gets more cards than he creates chances nowadays. Yeah, isn't it? Does, isn't it the, how the, the fall of the old managers is when they start the preferral treatments and they yes. refuse yeah, to take much. a risk? Like pretty if, much. Like what I'm saying is like at that kind of moment, you usually take more. Like either you, it's like a, how you say it, uh, if the flight or fight, <coughs> and he decides to fi, uh, fl uh, fly, you know what I'm saying? He decides he to save the same crap. instinct. Is he he's, 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 no he's not. He won't. He's not changing anything. It's like he just keeps going out there doing the same shit. Yeah, take some risks. He doesn't take any risks at all. No, that, yeah, exactly. yeah, and that's my that's problem, problem with him. He yeah. doesn't take any yeah. risk. Anything. Any. Yeah. Even though it's, no. it's not working. <laughs> I mean, it's what not pisses me off the most, yeah. Thing, you see, it's, it's, it's the back, training back, videos. In training, they're back, all smiling and happy, but on the pitch, there's nothing being translated. Back, it's just so poor. Well, nobody's criticizing and calling them words from the sideline in a training ground. Yeah. It's just like everyone's so happy and jolly. Like, <laughs> Look, it just vexes back, me. It, oh. Back home, back home, we have saying whoever does not take risk does not drink champagne at the end. So exactly. that's how it usually is. You that's don't facts. take a risk. You're gonna drink water from the faucet at your home. Yeah, oh, he, 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 can take he doesn't it. take risk. I agree with that. He doesn't take do risk. He doesn't, the opportunity he doesn't to take a risk anything. was maybe ten games ago. Ah, he's know, a like, pussy. He didn't have the squad. He don't even. He don't even try to. Right? He don't even try to fucking be pragmatic. He don't. He's just. Oh, I think he's very much, very much pragmatic. He's, 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 play, he's just playing it safe. Just playing it safe. Really, but he's not really though. But he's really not. He's like he 
Yeah, he would play a back five if he was being pragmatic. He exactly. yeah. He's I mean, playing it's attacking. Back four don't matter. It's how you play, right? But look how we how we're playing. I don't know. I don't even know. I don't, I feel like I don't even know what the hell I'm watching when I'm watching the, yeah. when I was watching us <laughs> play. It's true. I think I you know even, what it is. Yeah, it's, it's so I true. couldn't it's... even describe it. If you ask me to describe it, I would just say, "Yo, it's, it's, I don't know." It's like you. No, I don't Jimmy, know. Jimmy, I wouldn't even know what to on, say. Jimmy, 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 let me describe it for you, right? There was there was a moment in like literally the the last game against Spurs, right? It was in like the sixtieth, maybe seventieth minute, right? And it absolutely blew my mind. So so they it was basically a normal setup. Oh, Spurs, it was a normal setup, and Spurs were playing out of the back, right? How they're normally set up in their five, right? Let's they go. pushed their fullbacks a little bit. They pushed their fullbacks a little bit higher. Why is the SPV? What's the legal fees on this? Hey, we'll charge a lot. We'll charge, we'll charge a bit of money on this one. Yo, mute, mute him. Hey, mute Slim real quick. Jesus. Fucking hell. Slim always forgets to go on mute, bro. I yeah, know he, said, he said he's at work. I guess we can believe him now. But um, <laughs> yeah, no. Worries. But either way, so what I was saying is they, they basically had a normal setup. They were set up in their five and their wing, wing backs were pushing a little bit higher. And so our three attackers were still pretty fucking high on the field, right? You can say they were in the opponent's like third half, like basically right outside their box. So instead of pressing them, all three of them people drop off, right? So what they do is the the left center back, Longley, I think it was, switched it all the way yeah. out to the right wing back, right? And for some reason, our three attackers refused to press. But for some reason, Ben Chilwell, our left back, while 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 the Tottenham attackers are pushing our center backs backwards, Ben Chilwell <laughs> is pressing on the halfway line. It made no sense. So our left back is on the halfway line where the rest of our midfielders are, and our our, and our uh, what you call it? Our center backs are basically outside of our box. The, the positioning make no sense. The pressing galore. make no sense. But everything about the team and everything about his his tactics make no fucking sense. They make yeah. no sense. Yeah, I'm tired of that too. I had it Look, enough. Carney obviously is not at the level of Pedri, Gavi, or Musiala, but like you know. They're all 18, 19. Up, like, up. He can get some minutes. Like He can get some. He can take the risk, you know? And now it's not working for 10 games, is, games in a row. Jay, Jay, you know what the problem is? If yeah. you start giving some of these, like, younger players an opportunity, right? Like, I'm not saying that you right. shouldn't. But I'm just saying this is what the repercussion could be, okay? So you start yeah. giving Carney minutes. You know, he shows one game. Then the next game he falls off. Then the next game his confidence is gone. And then the next game, yeah, you're like, I can't use him anymore. What happens after that is you've now... You've now upset the apple cart where now Mount, you don't trust yeah. Mount. You can't go back to him because you already went to an 18-year-old after him. How do yeah. you like how do you build squads from that? Like where you have a guy that's out of form, you put him out, you put an 18-year-old in there, give him an opportunity. The 18-year-old doesn't have the confidence to play anymore. Where do you go right, after right. that? Yeah, and so no, that, I get that, I get that. But you, that's where like we are right minutes, now. You have to I get that, but not player every opportunity to succeed before you start looking for options. Right, but yeah, I feel like Mount has had enough opportunities, though. I, not I'm not denying that. Minutes. I'm not denying that. I'm just yeah. saying this is where we are right now. Like Mount's on the bench now. We know that. Yeah, right, but but right. Corny, that so, scenario you minutes? just gave us, that scenario you just gave us is what's happening right now. Because literally, the last time Carney was on the field, I think was Man City, was it not? When he when he fucked up those those two chances, or was that Liverpool? No, Liverpool. Liverpool, was yeah. that the last time he was on the field? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So so that's where we're at right now. So even no, if but we have injuries play... though. Like what players are coming back to health now. So we, there's less of a need to play Carney. Yeah, I know, but now that now what you're saying is the more that he doesn't get on the field, the more in his head he could be thinking it's because of how I fucked up at Liverpool. No, it's like they don't know each other. It's like they don't talk on the on the training ground. You don't think he approached Chukameka if he has a problem, or Chukameka like is that because of missed the chances? That's like they talk. No, I absolutely do, absolutely. But we're talking about the same guy that that, that just keeps lying to us at the press conferences, just lying to everything. <laughs> what, what, what are we talking about? Question. I have no clue does. what you're talking about. How do you know he's this lying? Is same, bro, I'm, I promise you, this is the same coach that's probably in the training ground talking about y'all are doing great. Y'all are giving everything. I'm proud of y'all. This is the same coach that's that's talking like that. I'm that you he's not getting... going on. It's a robot. Boys, there's something wrong. We don't know specifically what it is and this and that, but we just know that it's not translating to results. We can't just assume like he's doing this and that. And you don't know, have concrete proof. You know what I mean? 
Right now, what I'm assuming, he ain't doing nothing. On the training ground, like after training ground. <laughs> I yeah. hope he does something with his wife because if she does it, she will she will fire his ass too. Charney's probably fucking yeah. his wife. Like let's be honest. I mean, yeah. Even even though if it's the managers, I think the players come down to it as well, man. There's just been a serious drop off. I don't know what's. Can't blame John Terry. He's not at the club. <laughs> even change that whole back line of defense. Get Rudiger and Christensen at the club. Oh god, that we're paying for this now as well, man. Even though we've got good defenders here, but yeah, that's those are the guys that's been in the club as I don't well, think man. Defense has been the problem at all. No, but it's the person. No, it's not the defense itself. It's just the players that were there doing the job. That makes sense. I mean, you can obviously put the other players in, but the the, the, the type of players that they were. We do not concede goals based on the structure of defense. We concede on individual errors, which is sometimes understandable with the young uh, uh, players that we do have sometimes in those positions. Like people think that the defense is only whoa defensive line. I can tell you chose... when sometimes there's a problem. I saw Chuka mm. America try to hold the possession of the ball way too deep and he put Cucurella under pressure. The first couple of three or four games when he was, everybody was like, oh my God, he was so good, he was so good. Yeah. But at the one moment of the game, when we could not get out out of the our own uh, box, we're under pressure, mm. those young players, you cannot trust them. And the they will do, we, we, we never do that these instincts. They will do based on instinct. Exactly. They're going to do exactly. what they do, which is, look, when you're not confident, I tell you for free, when you're not confident, you look at the ball with your eyes because you're not confident enough to make a touch, or, uh, make the first touch without looking at the ball. When you're not confident, you take more touches than you usually do. Without uh, without confidence, you will actually look where the player is before you pass him. You're not going to best based on what how your instinct is for the 50, 70 minutes when you're in the control of the game. You're gonna go on instinct. Careful, be yeah. more careful. You're gonna overthink that's it. That's the instinct. Overthinking exactly. And young players, that's the 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 thing of the young players that you cannot put too much pressure on them. Because you're saying like, oh my God, he thinks that he, this is the reason he messed up. He's not playing anymore. That's not the reason. If you're going to constantly put him in a position for him to be in those situations, because we do not score. We are actually more draws. We're more considered. We're not high scoring team. So the offensive team is not the one that actually going to be looked at. It's going to be looked at how we lost versus Southampton. Because we oh. pr we created enough, but we conceded at the end of the day, we lost because we conceded. Do you Nobody know, Alex, blamed Felix for hitting the uh, uh, bar two or three times. Do, do you know, Alex, on that one, yeah, <laughs> you're 100% right. But there's no point even entertaining a conversation about our defense when <laughs> we, we didn't even score against Southampton, we didn't score against Dortmund, we scored, we drew against West Ham, we scored nothing against Fulham. Like, I'm not being funny. What else? We scored nothing against Liverpool. Like, our defence, nothing against Man City. Like, our defence is, you know, we can complain about our defence, but <laughs> if we're winning these games 3-2, 4-2, then we can say, look, like, we, we need to keep clean sheets. If we're, if we're losing one nils <laughs> and drawing nil nils, I'm not being funny. <laughs> we got an issue in, in scoring goals. And a part of it is down to uh, we're over relying on players that haven't performed for us for quite some period of time in front of goal. These players that are been at the club for about four, well, 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 you know, three, four years have not hit any numbers to justify why they're there anyway. Uh, to be fair, a lot True. of them should be, should be out, should be out the door. Look, um, yeah, that's not that's not how. Like, look, I, I understand it's a. Uh, I understand that it's frustrating that Mount starts over Chukameka and stuff like that, especially in offensive when we need the score. When we need the score, when I see defensive mid uh, changing, I'm fuming. I am fuming. Why Zachary is coming into the game when uh, when we are lose when we are chasing the game, especially yeah. at the 80th minute. I think I think what he was trying to do there is give Enzo the license to get further forward, but. Even that, I agree. Like we yeah. don't, 
It's, it's, it's it didn't work. Why, That's why, like, like, look, what, is... like, what happens when you usually, like, you put all the forwards you got in the team, you put them on. You already won zero down. Yeah, that too. Yeah. You go with what you got. I, buy my I, don't even know if, I don't even know if the changes that he made were with... Uh, you Changing know, timing. Timing is important. I think he was basically just trying to, like, get a structure in place to try and build from there. But, you know... <laughs> I can't. I can't speak for this guy, man. Like I'm. I'm done. I can't speak. Yeah, for yeah, yeah, yeah. Him. Exactly. Yeah. Like there's no. There's you no, can't. There's no. There's no defending. Oh yeah, this is what he's. There's trying. like a win. There's like a win. Go in one year, comes out of a year, and it's just like so it's. Crazy. It's. A no, I get. I get your guys' argument, but at the same time, if Carney does play bad or makes a bad pass or anything, I don't think the media or even the like the club or the fans would blame him completely. The game oh my god! Are you kidding me, bro? Have you met our fans? Cut it out, man. Yeah. Our fans will put him on a stick and fry. You know our fan base. Come on, man. Yeah. Of course, of course. So, like, they what happened, what happened, happened to the left back? What happened Nobody to the gets left back? a pass in this fan base. Nobody. No, of course. I what that, happened, like, what happened to the left back? No, yeah, you got booed off. You got booed off. Yeah, I know, exactly. But, you know, the left back. Also, uh, the left back. Also five years older than Chukameka. Too, um, you know like, uh, I, look, look, don't need it. <laughs> I'm just saying. No five young minutes, players. It's probably the worst fine. thing is going to come from Chelsea fans than actually from the training ground. No, like, yeah, we're toxic. Of course we are. But I think five minutes is okay here and there. He's not even getting that. You know, that's what I'm concerned yeah, about. Yeah, that's I mean, there's that's more the players. Thing. There's more. Mm, a clear, exactly. okay, you got a, a player on the bench that's making 300K a week. And you're going you're gonna to bring on Chuka Mek? Like, it's just. It's simple economics sometimes. Too, right? that's, no, that's, that's even more concerning. That's even more concerning. The fact that we West fact we're failing to score goals and we've got a Babiag sitting on the bench. Oh my and, and oh, 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 Maduek is on the bench. Yeah, and we yeah. get the freaking mountain. Yeah. Mountain is a career. Love day is a career. But if you even think about this team, tangibles. Like you have Say that again, Alex. Please for the Spurs. He has every motivation to come no, on. No, wait, wait. Exactly. Exactly. The, exactly. the way the way the way motivation. Alex said it a while ago is how I felt. When he fucking put Mountain over and like I'm like, what are you doing? We need a go. Yeah, that two on the wing too. Like, we yeah. need somebody we're attacking. We, we actually two zero down and he puts Mount and Zachary as uh, Zachariah as the subs. And, and then he put, and then he put Obama Yang in in like the 85th minute. Yeah, no, it was 1 0 down and Mount Zakaria came on 2 0 and then he fought. Then he put Obra and Mudrick on. Now, yeah, so that's what started. Mudrick on after 2 0 because you see, as soon as he came in, he gave us something that we didn't like. He put in like two crosses in the space of like a minute and like a shot, yeah. too. So it was pointless at that point. Don't bring on Mudrick because again, now we're now at one game away from 007. Yeah, man, so, thanks. Like he doesn't know really what he's doing, to be honest. <laughs> like that's just like, just like honestly, I don't know he's how many of you guys like actually spot. played sports sometimes, but like I know, and it's not the right mentality to have. But like if you're if you're in a game like that, and then you're looking for inspiration from the bench, and you see your coach bring on a guy that you know is lacking confidence, doesn't really have any sort of like game, you know, like his game's not there. What does oh, that do yeah. for you on the pitch? You're kind of like, oh fuck, man! Now yeah. I have to carry this guy too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, three years of jo four years of Jorginho. <laughs> he was starting most games. He won't come uh, off the bench. Ah. Still the game. same sentiment, though. Same sentiment. Yo, I'm just saying, you can go the other way, too. Me, right? If he's not getting minutes, he's also getting lower in confidence that way, too. But, yeah. Yes, uh, yeah. Yeah, how many? He's, he's I don't know how many. I don't know how many. How much money do we need more for him to actually succeed? Probably I don't know how much money. Maybe, maybe, maybe like two billion. billion. At, look at the end. Maybe two at billion, the, three billion, so like that. At the end of uh, at the end of it, like at the end of the whole thing, like if we spend another six hundred or whatever, that will mean that that team is good enough to be playing in the league without the manager, and they probably will succeed the same yeah. same the same level of success. You know what I'm saying? I'm freaking tired of even talking about it. I kind of wanted to talk about that uh, new stadium thing. I'm kind of yeah, excited about it, actually. I'm kind of yeah, excited that we actually... Yeah. Don't care where you go, Lewis. Is it Wembley or Trickham? I'm excited for that. <laughs> I'm not, I don't care where Fatur goes. 
<laughs> no, that's it. It's crazy. That's because I cannot go to the games. I'm not gonna feel upset for the go and uh, going to the games uh, fans. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, oh, you can go over there after big to get a ticket to Bridge, man. At least is it confirmed, yeah. Wembley, Lewis? Yeah, I'll be at Wembley. I'll is it confirmed? Is it confirmed, Wembley? No, no, no we no, still no, didn't no. buy a property yet, man. <laughs> Okay, that's it what could, I was thinking. It could be Wembley, could be Twickenham. It's just it, a, it, it will take a year just to plan if they will buy the property. Well, if I think they will buy there's, there's, a, there's an adjacent area. If they buy that, chances yeah. are they're staying at Stamford Bridge then, right? No, opposite. New stadium. If they buy the property. No, I, they, but, well, new stadium at Stamford Bridge. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, we're not leaving. Yeah, no yeah. matter what, they're not relocating. They're not relocating physically under any circumstances. Because of the pitch owners? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck the pitch owners, man. Like, seriously. I'm not even joking, <laughs> man. Like, that's yeah, but so they've got the brand. The it's reason like, why you had that thing was to save the save the bridge. It doesn't need saving anymore. Let's have it right, Logic. <laughs> it doesn't need <laughs> saving anymore, man. Like, now it's in good hands. It's safe. Let's find a ground that's big enough so we can expand the stadium and make it. It's not safe. It's think, our no, club. No. It's our no, no, no. club. I think, it doesn't I change think that. Uh, no, no, no. I think uh, I think you uh, you uh, misunderstand what's gonna happen. They can increase the capacity beyond sixty if they buy that property because they will shift. I don't think that's what they're saying, though. I think that's what, exactly what they're saying. No, what they weren't they buying that piece of property so they could uh, develop? Well, this is was this what Matt Law was saying that so they can develop um, some sort New of like stadium. entertainment area or whatever. So they'll have like stuff like where you have the uh, the stadium tours and stuff like that, the, the the trophy things. You'll move that to that particular area. Yeah, that means that we'll the give actual them... area itself is not that much bigger, right? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the specifics. No, the, there's so. a picture. There's a picture on the Twitter where how, how the property beside it is actually the ones that they're looking to buy. Yeah, but what are they looking to do with that property? They're looking to develop it for you know the, an entertain like a an entertainment area for match yeah, yeah yeah. So I think entertainment area is one of those things that needs to be done. It doesn't necessarily mean they're buying a property just to expand that entertainment area. I know we've been successful, but I don't think we need like another lot of the property just to put the trophy cabinets in. Well, it's you not just trophy saying? cabinets, though, right? It'd be, <laughs> just, it'd just... be everything, right? Like they're just making that area more more desirable for like uh, for tourists and whatnot. That's what they're trying to do. But regardless, I, I agree with you. Like I think that ultimately, what should happen is they should just develop Stamford Bridge as best they can. That's going to take. A multi. The best case scenario for me, if Chelsea, if the pitch owners would just let go of this pitch owning thing or whatever, is you you stay at Stamford Bridge for however many years, two three years, while you're de de developing Earl's Court, build Earl's, Earl's Court, build the stadium there, and then you know it's a natural seamless transition. You know, I think it's going to be the fastest oh. thing is tear it down and build the new one, then go section faster? by section. Yes. You think that's faster? Yeah. Than just buying Earl's Court and, and developing yes. Earl's Court? Yes. I don't know about that. Build a new stadium is always uh, is always fast. First of all, yeah, but that is that... a new stadium at Earl's Court. Do what? I'm saying keep Stanford Bridge, play at Stanford Bridge while you develop Earl's yeah, Court. Yeah, that's the worst thing that can happen. That Why will that? take up to twenty. For uh, for example, because you have to adjust. There's always easy and faster way to build the house than renovate the house because you have to adjust to the actual architecture. And remember one thing, if you, uh, the only reason I know because uh, my family member is the con uh, a builder, like the proper builder, like the, uh, he's a bridge builder. Anyway, so he's saying uh, uh, that's, what, uh, that's what, uh, how, uh, how it actually works. The existing thing sometimes are not up to the code of the new standards of the life. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, for example, the, the codes are different. So to adjust to those, they, sometimes the government will make you fix this to adjust this. And so that takes a long time. Are you talking about renovating or are you talking about like building a new stadium? Renovating. Yeah, renovating. So, okay, there's, there's three versus different proposals building a new stadium. I think you're missing what I'm saying. There's three different proposals mm -hmm. here. Uh -huh. The first is 
build it stand by stand, whatever. That's the one that'll take forever. There's knock it all down and build it back up again. Then there's keep Stanford Bridge and develop another area. Like I'm talking about go to Earl's Court and develop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no that's. And then knock down Stanford Bridge. First, first of all, somebody it. actually said oh, Earl's Court is already, already developed. developed. I don't know, but like, mm, it's okay. just. You know what I mean? Like, use Earl's Court as the new ground to build the new stadium. What's in Earl's Court? Why is people saying it's already developed? Yeah. What stadiums in Earl's Court? No, they're not saying that there's stadium. Uh, there's something there. else is different. Somebody else bought there. the property. But they're not, they haven't developed it yet. They're talking about developing it. For an they should just move it to Battersea Power Station and make it, my life easier and everyone ha life's easier. Yeah. 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 It wouldn't make my life easier. I want to tear this time for Bridge down and build a new stadium. <laughs> <laughs> Be the that will be the fastest way to build the, uh, the fastest way it the the biggest way it's actually take it down and build a new one i yeah. promise you timing wise timing wise yeah yeah, they, yeah, yeah. I, think, I think tottenham they moved to wembley whilst um their stadium was getting yeah, they did, yeah. They, um i think west ham albeit that was the olympic stadium they had to you know that was easy, yeah. easy transition for them so yeah i think yeah i guess we've got to do that as well it wasn't easy. They got relegated to the new stadium. No, as in, in to move to the stadium. We weren't really like, oh my God, where are we going to move from the Bowley ground? Or are we going to, you know, they had it seamlessly from Bowley no, ground to... No, but, but, but West, Ham was a, West Ham was a different set of circumstances because... Playing and everything. Yeah. West Ham was in the London Stadium where it was used for the 2012 Olympics. And all they really needed to do was literally put a pitch there a couple of sides here and there, and that's it. Like a couple of paint jobs. And I, that's I can it. imagine, yeah. Uh, yeah, it, yeah. It, it, yeah, literally, they, they didn't have to do much. I think if you go to the stadium, I think there's a there's still the, the track around it. So they didn't really yeah, have yeah. to structure Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I think they uh, bought it from the London City something. I think it's not Wait, that's West Ham's permanent stadium, though, right now, right? Like, they no, I think, I think they got to renew it at some point, but yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a lease. Okay. It's, I, th I, th I think it's a, I think it's a hundred year lease or something like that. Something like that yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, yeah, it's a long lease, but okay, um, okay, got you. Yeah, that's how West Ham, that's how West Ham did it. Um, but <laughs> we, but the issue is that we can't do anything fairly similar anyway if we wanted to do, because there's no Olympics in London anymore. Like, the stars were aligned for West Ham, so. Yeah, it exactly. kind of worked out. Yeah, they were in the same borough. It just worked out in the same way, basically. How long will this process take? Though, like probably three years, two years. First took two years, right? Twenty thirty, really? Uh, Damn. You know, you know, you know what? It depends if, yeah, it depends if they get planning permission. If they get planning permission quickly, bro, and that got twenty eighteen planning permission was the one door man. Oh, I was so <laughs> gassed for that. Why yo, you... yo, yo, I got a question. Any Anyone on the panel will take Zidane? Right yeah, now, yeah. No. I mean, he's, my, they, he's not my first uh, choice, but I'll take him. He's not my I'm first choice. He's, he's not my first, first choice. Yeah. I, but I'll take him over Poch, and I'll first. take him over... I'll take him over a lot of coaches. Who's but over he's Potter, right. yeah. I know Daniel wants... I mean, not Daniel. My, my first choice is Jose Mourinho. Yeah, Daniel no. wants Zizou. Yeah. I meant Couch, because it's here for Daniel. Couch is... Oh, Couch wants... Enrique, oh, Lewis, who who would you take, Lewis? I am really not fussy. I just want to. I want a manager that can keep. <laughs> he just want to play yeah. that out. Yeah, uh, for, 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 yeah, points, yeah. It, Scott. If it was up to me, if it was up to me, I'll, I'll just have um. I love Jose. I I don't want Poch. That that's what I don't want because. But why not? Yeah, because the reason why is because I don't. I, I'm not convinced that he's a winner. And that's the real stumbling block. And yeah. everything else you could develop. You could develop your tactics. You could develop everything else. But if you're not a winner, it's either you have it or you don't. Yeah, exactly. He's, he's been, he's been, he, he was at Tottenham for how long? About, I don't know, five, six years or so. Did it win one yeah. FA Cup. Yeah, they did. did it win one FA Cup. Did it win one League Cup. Got to one, you know, Champions League final and lost that. Went to PSG and got... Well, did it with the the, the the league in in his first season, but what in the second season? But that's well, OTC. It, can I can I counter? Don't you think he's punching above his weight with that team? Because he did develop Southampton as well. He did. He did. Yeah. But it's the mentality, Listen, right? Like, are you punching? No, above no, no. Southampton is a is a very similar set of circumstances to Brentford and Brighton. They've got a very well structured, a, a very well. Well, previously they had a very good academy and they had a very good. Um, 
people behind the scenes in general. No, 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 and because so, he that Tottenham team as well. Like, with the, and he had two years without signing a single player. Two years, with, there was no ban, and he still consistently got that top four. I think that's a little bit of credit. But how, but how many trophies did he win? That team was. No, but how, how many trophies did he win? You, you see, I don't know. You, you like, like I, I from League Two, I made him probably one of the best attacking midfielders in the league. I mean, no, but in in, the, in that space of time. Oh, let me give you. Let me, okay, since he was uh, at all, since he turned, since he was at Tottenham, I think Leicester won the league. Um, I think. May, I think did we could win the FA Cup in that period of time. No, 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 no. no I think no. that was just before. <laughs> I think that was just. I think that was just before, just before he got there. I do no. understand what people are saying. Like he's, you know, it, the, I think after the Tottenham final, I think you could just tell that that Tottenham team crashed and burned. They didn't even know how to pick themselves up. All right, Obviously, guys, I'm gonna go. I gotta go. So I I'll see Alex, you later. Real, you as always. Come on, I'll be, I'm gonna be Bigger. listening. If somebody says shit, I'll come on the phone. When Big up yourself. You don't <laughs> and you don't like when I'm driving. You don't Big like. Up. me. No worries, talk. bro. No worries, bro. I'm <laughs> I'll see you later. Yeah, guys. Jorginho, oh, Scott is here, man. I didn't get my do- daily Jorginho shit from Scott. Your daily, your daily process. Your daily process from Scott. No worries, bro. No worries, bro. No worries. Big up, Scott. See. You. Yo, but OTC back on that point. I feel like, that, like if you're looking at now, anyone, Alex is gone. What a dickhead! <laughs> 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 I'm like, bro. I'm like, bro. He's gonna, he's, he's gonna call from the car. He's gonna start shouting at you. You know. I can't lie. I heard that. Uh-huh. <laughs> here comes here comes yeah. Yo, um, OTC. Yo, um, OTC. Like, I could understand if you're looking at it from a point where you want trophies now, then that's fine. I, like, I'm on board with that because I can see why you don't want punch. But if you're looking at, like, development and, like, establishing a core yeah. team, then that's Poch's thing. You know what I mean? For someone to come and take, like... Uh, Fuck. Fuck. Exactly. Yeah, but, okay, so, so you're saying that the reason why... Poch is a good coach. So, so you, so you don't even want him long term. You like, want I'm coach. Not, I'm, I'm, I'm not exactly. He's a like, transition manager. He's I'm not Poch in or out. I'm just, I'm just like, you can't like discredit him, what he has yeah. done. You feel me? No, I'm not like, discrediting what he's done. But I'm saying this here, for me personally, I, I, look, whatever Poch could do, get into top four or you know, establish a team. I think Jose could do the exact same thing. Is That's why right. after whoa 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 whoa, nope. whoa 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 he got third in our first we first season listen, when he got here listen, and I won the league in the second season. Really, I don't want to bring really. it back this club. Yo, yo, Scott, what's popping, Scott? How are you, man? The I thing is, like, I what do you guys want? Do you guys want a transition manager? Or do you no, want, want a manager that wins now? Because, like, you know, I think George Cup and Scott said, like, there'll be a manager that can develop the players and then get sacked and then you can bring in a win winner. Let me tell you something now. I want to I want OTC, OTC, OTC. Yeah, who would you take as a manager? Wait, 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 wait guys, one at time, one at time, one at time. Yo, Scott, first of all, how are you, Scott? I'm good, thank you. Bro. Chill, what is yeah. your first choice, Scott? What is your first choice? Flick. I keep saying that's on like yeah. every stream I'm on. Flick. Why Flick? <laughs> Uh, develops young players, um, has a style of play which I like, which is very very similar in terms of shape to the way that Pep Guardiola and Ten Hag, etc., um, like to play, or especially Pep Guardiola. Um, yeah, uh, has a good mentality, is fairly easy to work with from a managerial standpoint, only fell out one person at Bayern. And he didn't fall out with uh, him. He, he, the one person that he fell out with, I understand why he fell out with him. Um, Who was it? Yeah, just uh, fairly easy to like to get. So, anyway, let me ask you know, also as well, like he's someone you can build a dynasty with. Like he's someone as long as you are not, as long as you treat him with respect, you can build a dynasty with. So let me ask you this: What, what would you say to the people that say, "Oh, he had a ready-made team"? Like you know what I mean? He had Bayern. I don't like, give a fuck. Like I don't care. So look, but like logically, like speaking, like what's the proof outside of Bayern that you can take? There are none. There's I mean, none. for all that. Can I just say for all that ready-made team, go and look at how they were doing before he came in. Mm, yeah, that too. That's a good Ooh, point. That's a great and I'm just great. asking a question because I, I really don't know which specific specific manager. Like, look look at look at what he did in terms of revitalizing Thomas Muller's career. Look what he's done for Musiala. Look at what he's done for like Sane. <laughs> Karen, like look at what he's done for certain players in that team. Even but, like, I mean, the, the players you saying like what look at what he's done for. They're kind of. Top talents, like you have to name some players that was crap that he raised. He ain't really like, done much. He ain't done much. Jimmy, you can't, you can't really say that because you you still got a culture that young talent though. 
No, what I'm saying is he's saying look what he's done for and the people that he's talking about what he's done for probably would have been did that under a lot of coaches. Let's just be no, honest. No, but yeah. I, don't know. I don't know about that. Though. Yeah, yeah. What do you mean you don't know there. about that? He's talking about yeah. world class talent. Yeah. We're not talking about players that was picked up off the trash heap. Like I get that, but oh, yeah. look, look how much world class talent. He took he took a guy who was a winger. He took a guy who was a winger and turned him into one of the best left backs in the whole world. Like, yeah, that's who Davis. Yeah, Davies. He he took a guy and like an 18, 19 year old and did that. He took an 18, 19 year old, put him into the first team and allowed him to develop to the point where he now looks like he belongs there on a regular basis. And he's if, even if you want to look at some of the even if you want to look at some of the like not so great players that he took, he did really good things with you promoting. Like he managed to turn around Muller's career to the point where we're like Muller looked uninterested and looked like he was passed it under Kovac. He comes in and he completely turned around his career to the point where, like, Muller was key in what Bayern did. Like, like that. Yeah, 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 Jimmy. Yeah, Jimmy. So I, think, I, think, I, think I think what they're saying is that the sample size is very small, though. Like, it's only... Yeah, yeah. Doing I, what, can, I can say that the problem is, Jay, is I can say that for so many managers the players want. If Let's That's let's true. go, for example, let's go with Enrique. Everyone talks about yeah, um, Barcelona, but I can show you what he did at Celta Vigo and Roma. His yeah. win percentages are garbage. Yeah, uh, Roman, he got sacked. I think, I think, that's that's I, like, I think yeah. so I can do the same, I can do the same thing. So, like, that's that's why for me, I'm just looking at what he's that doesn't bring. compare, though. That's true. I mean, it's still smaller, but he still, actually yeah. won a that's treble. True. What did what did what you call it do? Flick, uh, yeah, let, let me just, Flick. Let me just uh, let me what do you do? Don't say he won the don't say he won the Bundesliga, nobody cares. He won the so, so, hang on, so Enrique won the treble with a front three of Messi, Neymar, and Suarez. Two of them in their prime, and one of them the, arguably the like best young player in the world at the time. Like, so, again, what you saying? Gonna... Flick, Flick would have won it with them too. That's yeah, what you're saying. And uh, Flick, yeah, Flick, uh, Flick, uh, Flick uh, didn't uh, win the Champions uh, League uh, with the team he had. Yeah, yeah. Like that. Yes, he did. Flick won the Champions League with Bayern. You still got Iniesta, Rakitic, and Busquets. Am I right in saying that? Am I right in saying yep. Flick won the Champions League? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He won, yeah, he won the Golden version. He won they seven won trophies in, in he won one season. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, he won, won the one where uh, he won the one where Tuchel was in the other uh, cab with uh, yeah, PSG. Man. The one uh, game one. But one. in terms, of, oh, look, look, In terms of both of these guys, um, in terms of Hansi Flick and um, Enrique. With the sample size, okay, no, with Hansi Flick, the sample size is a bit small in the sense where yeah, he's only been yeah. at Bayern Munich and Germany. For Germany, yeah, I won't say no, it's great, but at the same Germany. time, it's all, I, I, I can, I, it wasn't great at Germany. I have to be I, honest, I, honest as possible, yeah? With he's Enrique, good at Germany. no, but even so, bro, he, he, I think, group I think stages, Enrique, I think I'm, losing Enrique, group think. stages to, to what's it called? Uh, what, what, what was in the group with? I think it was Japan and oh, I can't remember. Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Yeah, oh, let's, he shit the bed in Germany. Let's be honest. Yeah, yeah. On that one, it wasn't great. Enrique for Spain, recent, yeah, his recent job. The same time. He wasn't. For, yeah, Enrique for Spain. I don't you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm 50 50. Both their attackers are shit. Like Enrique and Flick. By the way, I will say on the side though, I see people mention the comments. I'm not even thinking we get Flick. Javi asked me what my first choice is. I said Flick. Same way that my first choice no, I did, when Lampard I did, I did, got sacked. Yeah, I did. My first choice when Lampard got sacked was Ten Hag, even though the fact we would never no, link no, with him. Fred, uh, like, Scott, Scott, yeah, Scott, yeah, Scott, yeah, yeah. Scott. That's I absolutely fine. Scott. Ten hours. No, I asked you. I asked you, Scott. Give me credit, Scott. Look, I mean, Javi asked me first. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. I did. <laughs> <laughs> everyone, everybody was talking at once, so it's, 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 it's hard, it's hard yeah, to look, tell. But what I was, I said look, this, I uh, this on the stream I was on last night on Casually. Like, the thing with me about the managers is, for the most part, I trust whatever manager we're going to get in because I know that Vivelle is going to have some helping that process and so i understand that even if it's a guy that yeah, i like look at and go that's a bit odd like a guy like potch for example i'm like i'm still undecided on potch like whether i want him or not but i trust that if they go and get him vivelle has nah, done enough potch, man. to look I, like I, I, I know what you mean scott but potch man i'm, I'm sorry but potch it, 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 i can't man i can't like, is looking at things, like, he did the same thing with some of the players like he's gonna look at these things and go right he's gonna have seen something in this manager that i think okay there's a reason he's hired him, or there's a reason he's been hired. Like, it's not in the same vein of, of Potter, where it's like it was literally just Bowley hiring. And it's like, yeah. even though we all, or like a large, uh, a large portion um, of 
fans in football did like what Potter was doing at Brighton and thought the football they played was well. At the time, it's literally Bowley making that decision, whereas now yeah, there's I, more I, people involved in this decision and more people I'm like... I so, you, so, so Scott, Scott, just, just quickly, Scott, are you saying that if Vivell chooses uh, Potts, you're just going to back it? Yeah. Yeah, 100%. No. He's not saying for well, back whoever <laughs> comes in, mate. Hold on, hold on. back whoever no, comes no, in. No, no, Same way I've backed, like, all the players we brought in. Like, when Badi Ashile got signed, for example, like, just take someone like Badi Ashile. When he got signed, initially I was a bit sceptical because, like, the things I'd heard I'm weren't great. Saying. But at the, at the same time, it was like, Badi I'm going to give him a chance because, like, I can't judge him about seeing him play. But it's like it'll be the same thing. I'll back Poch until he gives me a reason not to. It's the same thing I've done with Potter. I've backed yeah, but Potter until you're going to be forced to do that anyways. I'm just talking about perfect scenario. Like, you're going to be forced to back whoever. You know, I'm just saying oh, best case scenario. Like, like, I want your that's opinion on who you want. Choice. I've got my choice, but I'm saying, say they don't go for Flick and they get Enrique. Am I going to be pissed? No. Say they don't get Flick or Enrique and they get Zidane. Am I going to be pissed? No. Like, say they go and get one of the three guys that was mentioned, where it's like Amarim or Frank or Poch or something like that. Am I going to be pissed? No, because I um, want to see the vision they have. What about Mourinho? I understand some people. <laughs> but what pissed. manager do you Jose think is best for Chelsea? Chelsea? Um, Jose Mourinho. He's, I, 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 tell, I tell you one thing, actually. I, I tell a lie, actually. I tell a lie. If we Wait, end up hiring one of like Simeone or Mourinho, I'm not gonna be happy because they not are. Oh, no, 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 I don't want to see that crap. Stop that! No, no, I don't want to see that crap. I, 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 I'm, not, I'm not about. I'm not about watching us play terrorist football Me for like half a season so we can win an FA Cup, and then everyone in the squad gets pissed because like we're playing terrorism football. I'm not about that, man. I'm not about that. Run away from that, brother. Exactly. I want to go away from that. I want to go it's, back. To, I want to go towards nah. the, like um, the the going towards what City have, for example. Where they've tried to build a dynasty, you're not building that with with Simeone or with Mourinho or a manager like that. That a manager like that has a shelf life of about three years, and then you've got to change him again. I'm not about that. No, but Scott, right now where we are, where we are at, yeah, it's like trying to be a vegan in the desert. You know, we, bro, we're starving now, yeah, <laughs> we're starving, fam, yeah, <laughs> and we need. Um, wait, bro, wait, our, as our a vegan, topic, I'm trying to figure out that what that even means. Bro, you, you, you know, like, just interpret that as you would do. But in terms of, look, in terms of, I, I understand where you're coming from. These uh, Some of these other coaches play more appealing football on the eye. However, at this present moment in time, a big issue with our team right at this point of time is mentality. And when it comes to some of these other coaches that play, like Potch, that plays fancy football, you know, all these, you know, lovely, lovely football, <sighs> mentality-wise is where, <laughs> it's where, he was at his his big downfall, and I think at this point of time, I think we need a a person to shake things up, a person who's the players respect. Can we and you, Mourinho, please, please. I I completely That's what agree. I'm saying. I completely agree. Can you get that? Can you get that type of manager from an Enrique or a Flick? I think you can with Flick. I, think I would can. say yes, and they both. They both play a style of football that is more geared towards having a dynasty and having multiple years of success rather than Mourinho and Simeone. I don't like but, that but, type of style. But, 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 but again, they, on this multiple years of success thing, yeah, and, and having a long-term coach, look at look at Pep. Pep, in pre all of his previous clubs have been there, what, two, three seasons, yeah? And now he's at Man City for, for a good period of time. Yeah, the reason why is because he just kept on winning. I'm, in my opinion... I think if we get a, a coach like Jose for, the, let's say, three years, the reason why he fell up with the board, like with Roman, was <laughs> Roman just, like, these guys just clashed on, on a regular basis and the players that we had and, on that and, period of time. And what happened last time Mourinho was in charge with the players? That's more, that's more important. No, but me. that was player power. That was more so player power. And oh, actually, oh, so the, players, the players down tools because they didn't want to play that football and they didn't want to play under him because he was difficult to work with Paul. Like so, we're well, just gonna go to, I thought he what is what he did to Eva Cavanero. That's what they all just, you know what? You're just a twat. I'm not gonna Ooh, play re regardless, anymore. regardless, because that's part of it. His own ego, like he caused a rift in between him and the squad. And I love Jose Mourinho for what he's done 100%. for this football club. You're, and you're like, not wrong, Scott. Like, I'm, ne I'm never going to discredit what he's done at this football club. I don't want him back. Let him stay at Roma. But, 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 but we don't have those. We don't have those types of players anymore. In terms of the right now, we've got young players. No, right now we've got young players in a sense whereby 
they are more likely going to listen to Jose as opposed to it before where he was like, these men worked on the five, six different coaches and they were down tools. Well, they down tools for quite a few of them. So I think these young players at this period of time, like your Enzo's, like your, um, all these all these other young players, like your Badi Ashidis, etc., they will be more receptive to Jose than some of the other previous... Uh, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. oh, oh they will give them out. out. I'm, I'm actually, actually really Dele glad Dele you brought the young players point up. So I'm really glad you brought the young players point up because that's Has not Mourinho got the patience with the young players though? Because yeah, Mourinho like you say and with, with Mourinho, next. with like say with Mourinho back in the day when he was last with us and we had De Bruyne, we had Salah, and Mata. he was he was a big a big factor of them leaving. And look at De Bruyne now, look at Salah now. You know that, that's say, the only going, issue I've got with Mourinho when he comes back. If wait, sorry, if he does come back, will he have the patience with the likes of Mudrick and stuff like that? I just don't see it with Mourinho. Personally, that's I'm a big Mourinho. no, bro. He's my favourite manager, but I just wouldn't want him back at Chelsea. I yeah, think but look, but look what Mourinho did to with Rashford when, when, when he was yeah. in that club. I thought that was Louis Van Gaal that brought in Rashford, put him on the map. It was, it was Louis Van Gaal. No, but it was Louis Van Gaal, but I think Rashford had yeah, a very good season under him, Jose. Let's and just settle the debate and bring back Thomas also, Tuchel. The thing is, do you know what? Do you know what I'm about, by the way? Is people, is people want to bring up examples like, oh, Super Tommy's Tuchel's mentioned, oh, he literally signed Tammy. Yeah, the same guy he now wants to get rid of because he prefers Bellotti over him. Mm. Like, like, cool. thank, you that, thank you for that um, example, by the way. Oh, the fact that he, 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 he got rid of another striker. He, do, you remember, do you remember that story about the guy that he you know, bought the shoes for, bought the football boots for? He was apparently really high on. The same guy yeah. he sold the past January transfer window to the team bottom of the Serie A. Because again, he'd rather play the likes of Dybala, the likes of Belotti, the likes of the like, all these guys. Like He'd rather play the older players, which is fair. Like That's what he wants to do. That don't measure yeah. what we're trying to do. I get that. Um, it's big, quite, yeah. We're just going to go yeah. through a few of these super chats. Quick. Big up Simon Pinero saying Flick literally developed and brought through Musiala in the 2021 20, season and he made his debut under him. I guess when we're talking about young players that he brought through. Also said, uh, big up for the donation too. Mourinho is, ex- is literally the exact opposite of what our owners want. They are mm-hmm. buying all these young players just to bring Jose in. He doesn't develop youth and would be an idiotic appointment. That's also why I like... There was a quote that came out a few days ago saying they wouldn't come back to Thomas Tuchel if they needed to because they just have differing ideas of the long-term future of Chelsea Football Club. They're looking for project managers. Yeah, so, yeah. But, no Scott, you know, you said exactly. No, Scott, you say you talk about like you know three years and he's gone. You know, imagine in those three years we win maybe a title or like you know even the UCL. Like you know, I mean, it's a big risk, but would you, you would still take that? You know, you know that trade-off is still good, right? Yeah, but what I'm what I'm wanting and hoping for for the club is for that across about six or seven seasons. Like that's what the club right. wants as well. But then you sack Marina, and then you know maybe another good coach is you know out in the market. And in that time, you won a title or Champions League. But I see that I see your point. You know, you want a long term dynasty, and you just can't get that with Jose. Yeah, even though he's a winner. It's either Crazy. we want a project or we want it now. That's what. That's it. Is that we want a project? I'm just saying, like, did you now? trade off that project well, we did, for a few we, years for, for, a big t- for a big title or a big UCO, you know? I don't know. For, for the club. So. I don't know. I think I just trade off time. Go both ways. I do. I don't. I honestly don't want to yeah. start sacking, 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 sacking. I, I'm really Ooh. tired of that. I, you I know what? Up, you I mean, it works. Though. For our club, it's, it works. I am it's really tired really of that, in all honesty. Sacking, the whole sacking, 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 sacking thing, sacking, that's, sacking. That's, that's rampant in every sport now. No, like, you don't I, have a manager that's going to stay for longer than four or five years, you know, like, at, the, at best. But Chelsea, you know, like, you, you if we didn't do the second, 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 we would never win them two Champions League. No, that's true. That's true. That's not wrong. You're not wrong there, but, but you know, it's sustainable training? enough. How long do we do that before we, you know, go around the block three times? You know, I agree. Go, right, you yeah. know, but it is what it is. I guess we just got to stomach it and take it in. I think people always wanted to emulate the Sir Alex Ferguson and the Wingers. Like it, yeah, exactly. I get. No, I heard that. I heard that. I heard that. I don't think that that breed is there anymore. But in our case, we don't even give managers a chance to, you know, you know. Me- learn from their mistakes. Type B. We sack like, Rancho not for coming second. You, you know, I mean, if <laughs> there's a balance. Know, I was the only mistake. Balance, I guess. You feel yeah. me? I'm just like. I feel like these these board members would gate would give part of time. They no, I hope. Yeah, yeah. I get it. in between, but you can't be going two and six. Like there's 
the extra. This is crazy, man. Like, this, is, this, is, that, man. this is this is suicide. This this man. And I would I would like them to be in his office okay. giving him the real truth. Like, what the hell are you doing, Potter? We brought you into this is not business. I would like for him to be answering to the bosses, like, what the hell is going on? And hopefully learn from this and get some bloody wins, bro. Was was everyone you know, Potter in or when two? Like, we're up. talking about like we're talking about Chelsea. You know, giving him a couple of games or whatever before they they really evaluate reevaluate the situation. But we have so much invested in Potter outside of this is sixty million. Like we uplifted <laughs> his entire the entire structure from Brighton and dropped it on Chelsea. You know, so when that's why they gave him time. Well, yeah, I mean, he 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 basically handpicked his own boss. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. <laughs> like <Yeah>. real talk, <laughs> he picked his boss. So I don't know if there's like I mean I hope I, I can't really say, I can't swear for those guys though I can't say for sure that this is what's gonna happen in two matches because you know all of his buddies are gonna turn around and, and fire him after they were responsible after he was responsible for bringing him to the club in the first place doesn't sound likely to me man doesn't sound I don't likely. know if they're buddies but they're they can we can keep the backroom staff and just like out right. Coach, the only person I'm talking, about, I'm talking about, like Paul Wynn Stanley. I'm, ta- I'm talking about all those guys. They, they, they're basically oh, yeah. his yeah. boss. That's true. I think yeah, yeah. we can keep Wynn Stanley and then get rid of everybody. But I think that's the thing about um, yeah, that. this. That's like he should have been gone against Southampton, coach. The reason why I feel oh, like easily, easily. I, I, I really he feel should like, never have been appointed as manager. He just yeah, 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 he's, he's, he's not a top tier manager. I don't see why they did appoint him, though. When Tuchel based got on, sacked, based when Tuchel on. got sacked, and there was the rumours about Potter was coming in, straight away I said, like, this man is going to flop at Chelsea. He's not a top-tier manager. Like, people say he did amazing at Brighton and stuff like that, but he only finished the mid-table. Like, if he's well, a really top-tier manager... Only, I, mean, I mean, I mean, yeah. Brighton, I mean, Brighton, he doesn't have... Yeah, 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 but, you you got to give him some credit. you got to give him some credit. No, I do. Da, 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 Brighton, da. But he's no. just a mid-table manager, and that's all he'll ever be. Uh, I, look, he's a fraud. That, yeah. He's an absolute the, fraud. The, look, look, that, yeah, of that, yeah, of that, yeah, I think when he came in, yeah, after Tuchel, I'm honest to God, I did not want Potter at all to begin with. Because me too. Yeah. every every reason that everyone was giving me as to why Potter was a good coach, he plays nice brand of football, you know, uh, he, he, you know, he develops it. Yeah. Play. All of these stuff, yeah, it's not translated to results. I just looked at the table, we look where Brighton was, look at his achievements, and I said, yeah, but like, where Chelsea Football Club, like, I'm not being funny, but. We should be competing for the league. We should be competing for the Champions yeah, League. Definitely. We should be competing for the FA Cup and League yeah. Cup, etc. And I'm looking at it, and nothing is demonstrating that you are of the level where you can compete, at, or you could compete at the right, highest right. level. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So I said, bad. I didn't want him to be given. Yeah, I feel like a lot of hindsight is going on though, because I don't think nobody expected him to be this bad. This bad, and I was, I was yeah, kind yeah, of rude exactly. to I, I agree on that part. I don't know about you, man, but just seeing another English gaffer at a top top club like Chelsea, I, I don't mean I was all for it. You know what I mean? Um, obviously, he's not he's not putting in that work, so he's making it look absolutely shit. But yeah, what I don't do blame him for that appointment. You can see what they were trying to yeah, do. Yeah, they, they, they saw it. He, he was, was trendy. Like, I mean, yeah, Potter was the trendy be manager bad. before Potter. Uh, before yeah, the, like, everyone the wanted him. Everyone. Yeah, he, he went Spurs. to Old Trafford and beat United four 0 with Brighton. I mean, yeah, like, yeah. 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 he was what, fourth at the time with Brighton when we hired him. They beat Man U four 0 at their stadium. At Old Trafford, like, yeah, I mean, exactly. who does that? Brighton, with Leon and Trossard and them, man. He also brought them from 17th to 9th in past I mean, season, too. So, bro. so I can see why they bad. hired him, but it turned out to be bad. You know, but, yo, it. Couch, going back to your point, that's what I'm saying. That's why they give, they give him every chance. Like, I feel like if he wins one of the next two games, they're going to keep him. Like, he doesn't have to win both, I feel, for them to keep him. He's, it's actually one of you think, yeah. the thing is it's what's the going manner, to be awkward. It's, it's in the manner how we lose too. The thing, the yeah. thing is what's going to be awkward. Obviously, he's under a lot of pressure now, and the rumors have been going around that he's got like the next two games, or he's going to get sacked. Imagine he wins them two games. I'm to be honest, I'm going to be low key pissed. Maybe if he wins these next two games, I swear <laughs> I'm going to be pissed off. Cause that's weird. That's Paul weird behavior, bro. Him. No, that's no, weird to me though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I can't never be upset for my team winning. That's no, weird to me. You just said you'll be low key yeah, upset. I can't. That's no, yeah, weird to yeah, yeah. me, bro. No, no, no. I'll rephrase it. It's more I'm so desperate to get Potter out of this club type of thing. 
It's, so, it's so let me ask you this. Off that, that Man's let, standing as the manager. Nah, my brother. That should have been the narrative. You should want Potter to do well. Yeah, let me ask. Hold on, wait. That's how I wanted to ask him a question. Let's let's say, for instance, for whatever reason, the team, a couple players go on a purple patch. We turn it around. He makes a run in the UCL, and we finish like sixth or seventh by some miraculous way. You're going to still be like, oh, Potter out, Potter out? Yeah, because I've never backed him from the start. He's not. A but even player. though if you see progress, oh, you're still going to ignore the progress? No, no, no. Well, no hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, what you described was not progress. You said that the players went on purple patches. That's irrespective of him. No, but it, it would take... It would, hold on. It would be considered a purple patch because of how much time is left. So regardless, neither one of... Not, I wouldn't take it as, okay, now the players are playing for him. I would consider it a patch. I wouldn't consider if any player right now gets hot from now to the end of the season. I'm, it's it's a patch to me. They all been crap yeah. all season. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. There's a yeah. quarter of the season left. It's you not can't, that I'm you saying. Can't. It's it's not I, I'm saying. I want Chelsea to lose. It's just more like the pressure that he's under. I I'm just like I want that man out of this club ASAP. It's like it should never have come yes. to the stage where it's yeah, too much. Yeah, but nah, like that's still... Arsenal fans last season were saying that's... they want Arsenal to lose their game against. Yes, yeah, yeah, trust me, I tell you, that's Arsenal exactly this the same it's behavior. The same it's the same Chelsea. I'm saying the same from... Arsenal behavior. It's weird. It, which is it's weird to me, guys. I understand, but yeah. we should encourage this guy to do the best. He don't want to mess up. <laughs> He don't want to wake up every day and come to train and then mess up. Yeah, yeah. I say that. Yeah, of course. He don't want that. I know know he's not eye candy to us. I know he's not playing. He was this guy before. I know. I understand. But surely we have to wait. We have to pray for this guy's um, betterment than the downfall. We're never going to win games if he keeps on starting habits and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Now that that we can agree on, brother. That we agree on. That's a different different conversation. I I understand that. That's a different argument in terms of selection. As a matter of fact, if he starts habits this week, oh my gosh, I'm going to have He probably will, though. He'll probably start habits and then he'll do the same again with Spurs. And then he'll bring on Mount, like like Mount a game changer. Havertz might score a hat-trick. We never know. Havertz might score a hat-trick. We don't know. Oh, that. yeah, yeah. He'll I score, don't see that. He'll score one goal, though, which is fans will get to be like, oh, Havertz is one of the best players. Yeah, he'll score one goal and then tell us to shut up. You what I mean? Remember last time he did that? Uh, he, that he scored, Jimmy, that he scored one me. goal and told us to shut up. Yeah, I couldn't believe that shit. I can't believe it. Just the haters, man. Fuck off. Silence the haters. He actually shushed us after he started scoring us a shit West Ham. One goal. One, one goal. goal and he should that's it's, that's when I that's when I stopped backing man. him completely. And you know the maddest Com- thing? He had zero GNA for the next six games For the next yeah, I'm about to say six or seven games, he had crazy. nothing. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yep. I was done with him after that. I stopped Why defending him. I stopped him. I wanted him out. Of, I, I was done with Havertz after he shushed us. Bro, I'm like, I'm wait. He celebrates a goal and then got pissed off in the space of two seconds. But hold on, guys, quick question, right? And this is my this is my stance. If Potter cannot handle adversity at our lowest point, imagine. Okay, let's say we go to Pepper Patch. Let's say he improves, and let's say next season it gets better, it gets better. What happens if you have a dip after that? After two years, we have a, a dip. No, yeah? but I, no. If he's able to, if he's able to pull out of this, that's saying a lot. This is our exactly. lowest. This is our lowest, bro. So if yeah. he comes out of this and he goes into wins, he will know the meaning of three points. How you go into dark arts, oh, oh, that's all. He goes into a madness. <laughs> you, the you know the value of three points. Hey, yo. Nah, you, don't, bro, you, you know the meaning You know the meaning, points. bro. Because you're just losing it left, right, and center. We won a game in 17 games, my bro. So what? When you go on the run, you're gonna, you, you think you want to go back to... It's like being rich. You are broke before you got money. You think you want to go back to broke days? Never going bro. back. Never, Never going back. back. You would die on the line before that happens. You will see, you will see <laughs> that's why you see that. Hey, that's why you see oh, some God, people. That. Some people lose. Some people lose it all. All their money at work and jump right out that same building at work because they ain't well, never going back to being broke. Eh, no way. If he <laughs> Tell gets him, out man. of this, if he gets out of this, the meaning of three points will be more value to him than 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 a five pick. What than anything, bro? He would do mm-hmm. dark arts to get one one draw. I saw Arteta mimicking the referee like. Walking on thin ice, <laughs> mimicking the referee, doing up. You could get sent off for that, but that was just this level of passion that like, you don't give a dash. Yeah, that yeah that, and you. that's what Potter lacks. He don't. He doesn't have that. Like you I, know what? My back my against brother, the wall. My brother, everything just. It. My brother, he will learn it. 
this is where you're learning it. You will learn it, my bro. This is life. You will learn it. Nah, 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 nah. You can't. After what? Well, how, how old is he? How old is he? How old is he? 40, 50? Bro, come on, man. If you, if, you, if you ain't got it now, you ain't, you, if you don't have it now, you ain't going to have it, fam. No, yeah, I, that, hear that. I hear that. It's sometimes it's built in you, innit? But you learn from your experiences. These experiences, I'm telling you, it's telling for you, bro. If you can get out of this, bro, trust me. We'll see another part. If he, let him just get out of this first. If I'm we get saying, battered by Leeds, man, um, uh, uh, yeah. we're either gonna bro. draw. Or get yeah. Stop doing that split. But yo, that's a, that's another good. Question. Cut, yo, do you remember the last Leeds game? And wasn't that with Tuchel? Yeah, yep. we got. Mm -hmm. Try to kick the ball. Oh, uh, yeah. what was it? Was that a three nil? That Jesse what we lost three yeah, nil. Jesse I think Bali got a red card that game as well. Yeah, so, Jesse yeah. Marsh yeah. kind of had us in the No, no, I don't. It, I don't think that was Kulibali. That was a. Uh, was that not Gallagher? Kulibali. Yeah, Gallagher was Gallagher. Yeah, Gallagher. We were losing before that red card, right? Yeah, no, nah, we were yeah, getting. Two uh, two I think no, so. yeah. No. Oh, Kulibali, no, yeah, 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 yeah. Kulibali got red carded at like on like yeah. the eighty something oh, minute. Yeah, it was like, like it was late on in the game, but he was playing shit anyway. So. Bro, this is this is this is agony. <laughs> this is agony, fam. You, I want us to. We will all be smiling. I swear. Listen, I know about life. Life comes back around, bro. We'll all be smiling very soon. Trust me. Let's just swallow this pill. I know no, it's listen, not we have nice a project going on. We'll and my my thing is like I, I Yo, wake up every. I've been swallowing with too many pills, fam. Big man, take this. This is. I don't know how much how much more you want me to swallow, fam. Yeah, because bro, bro, pause, bro. pause, pause. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, 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 pause, sorry. So, oh, <laughs> bro, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yo, bro, <laughs> that, <laughs> yo, whoa. Whoa, whoa. That away. Yeah, the bathroom is that away. Yeah, the bathroom is that away. Yeah, go clean up yourself. <laughs> go wash your hands and brush your teeth, man. Come on, you gotta start over. You start your day over. Real quick. Start your day over. <laughs> yeah, gotta start your day over. Yeah, bro. Big on yourself. Do you think if, uh, do you think if Bowley kept patience in Turkle, do you think he would have turned it around by now? I don't think it was the, the results on the field that he was mad at. Yeah, 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 obviously, yeah, that's yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah so like, I don't think, think it was the results on the field. Yeah, yeah, but I think, think it was. Back if from... Tuchel was still manager, do you think he would have turned it around yep. by now? So I yep. think he would have like had this. Yeah. It wouldn't be this Easy. bad. That's we for would have sure. at least yep. been top four. At least. Cool. I don't know. I don't know about top, top four. Six, yeah. I don't know about top, top, five, top four. Top six for sure, I feel. Yeah. I think it'll be top seven because I took his his words after the Arsenal game to gospel. He said the yeah. same signing, same same results. He was given. He was given signs that yo, bro, this is not. This is going to be a shit show this season. And obviously, yeah. yeah that, but Tuku, yeah. my problem with Tuku, and I can't ignore it. Tuku looked us right in the face and said, "Our midfield is fine." So he was a little bit... Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I, I don't necessarily was, believe yeah. that either, though. I don't necessarily oh, believe my... that. What is he supposed to say? What is no, he supposed no, to say? No, what do you mean? He should have said, yo, we got, we need to look at some midfielders. That's just the oh, truth. Yeah, we need to look at some strikers. Window, window, that's what he should have said. But don't forget, he said that, and they still went and got Zakaria. They were looking at Lavia. They were looking at... uh, What was the other guy? He, but he's... Nah, uh, man. What's his face? Alvarez. Alvarez. I do don't know don't believe what he tells the media, man. Like the media, he you can't cry out to the media and tell them they're looking for just midfielders when you're trying to buy them. Like if you're gonna, what, what do you think is gonna happen? They're gonna be okay, fine. You want, you need a midfielder? Yeah, you do. Eighty mil. No, exactly. But at couch, at three weeks ago, he said we need new players anyways. So might as well say we need a new midfielder. It's the same thing. Yeah, well, exactly. Man. That's how ah, you negotiate. He's that's that's my it's yeah, no don't different. Put out, it, 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 don't put your laundry out like that, man. Well, nah, he already did. He already, already, already kind of did. Kinda did. Well, I, this, this is why, Couch, you know why I say, oh, I got to call fuckery on that? If he was willing to tell his bosses, I'm not willing to share information with y'all, he ain't fucking scared to put a play out on a line and say, look, we exactly. need a midfielder. Yeah, he told exactly. Bowley and Igbali, uh, no, I don't want to share information. You going to look at your boss and tell them you don't want to share information with them? That's not what he said, though. That I heard he was sending Wait, his agent. That's what they said. He wasn't he, he, he wasn't he want the communication. No, he says he yeah. doesn't want to be involved in, in the uh in the in the negotiations. Think, uh, yeah, he doesn't want the, to be the person. Yeah, yeah. Well that's a players. part of your job. That's listen, a part of your job. He's listen, a yeah. No, 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 you don't no, you the he person who hires you right. tells you what your job is. I feel that in Couch, that what what job hold on, wait, 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 wait. Whatever your job is right now, if you go into work tomorrow and your boss say, look, starting tomorrow, you do this, this, and that. No. You, what do you do? No. I got a contract, my friend. <laughs> this is what I do. 
That's what you <laughs> So I, I don't what they asked uh, him to do wasn't outside of the contract. Of course it is. Like how is this? Is, Play team manager, ball. There's a difference between a manager and a and a coach, a head coach. What he what he is right now, or what Tuco was, is a head coach. What they were asking for was for him to be a manager. Okay, so, so wait, involved. wait. Okay, so all right. Okay, it so let's take a pin. Let's stay right there. Let's, let's stay. Yeah, bro. All right, let's stay right there. So your boss says to you, "Look, um, I need this, this, and this from you," and you say, "No." What do you expect to happen? So it's it's no really no question in why he got fired then. That no, I need to change why down. he got fired. Nah, like you can't you can't ask him to perform outside of. Yes, you can. You can tell him your job. You can tell him the job. Was was with the opportunity for Tuka to grab, and he didn't grab it. He had the opportunity to be the head honcho Come at Chelsea Club. But if, these new owners, these models, and he didn't want it, and it's fine, it's fine. It's nah, not oh really yeah, looking at it. That was it. I don't think he wanted that responsibility. He could have been the head honcho at Chelsea Football Club, being the man that oversees transfers, being the man that oversees... Yeah, didn't he want that at PSG and Dortmund uh, anyways? He wanted that at PSG oh, and yeah, I heard yeah. he didn't. Nah. Nah. You're managing your dad, your uncle, and your sister, so I don't think he wanted he that. He wanted that anyways. That's this, what I'm confused. Nah, this, this is the thing y'all getting wrong with Tuchel. Like, he's never been that type of manager. He just wants to coach tactics and wants to coach his team. No, at Dortmund and PSG, you, he wanted to he do that, all that shit. Yeah, he would have cooked with a a, um, a Vivel or something like that. He just wants to implement his tactics. He doesn't want to be involved. Like, but, but we understand we that, right? right? But do y'all realize bro, when you we were in a situation, bro, which is cool, needed. right? But the thing but, is, that's why I don't blame them sacking Tuchel. Yeah, like, I don't. Like, oh, okay, I don't, okay, okay, okay. I can agree with you. Okay. Guys, uh, guys. I think my, hold on, hold on, one second, one second. Tuchel's like yeah. my favorite, one of my favorites. But it, it was never gonna work with the style of management that Boldy is and the coach that Tuchel is. It, it was best they part ways. It wasn't yeah. a fit. In, like, in terms just... of that, in terms of that, yeah, it's it, look with two cool him and and Bowley probably were on two different wavelengths. Yeah, he was probably thinking to them, "Listen, guys, I've got a good squad. Let's build for right the here and now because we can challenge for the league this season. Let's do that." Whereas Bowley may be thinking, "I want to get them a younger players." Long term contract, etc. So by the time they're having conversations, they're all two different sides of the of the pod. Yes. Yeah, they're doing different pages. So no, but I think I think Bowley and them were showing they were willing to get young um established players also. I think it, the, the disconnect was he probably just wasn't willing to be just like Couch said, he wasn't willing to be a man, he wanted to just coach. And they wanted somebody that does both. That's, yeah, what they, that's pretty much what it looked like it come down to. Look at what he said about Marine, that why he loved Marini and Czech so much. They just said, yes, we're going to do this, this, and that. And he didn't have to worry about all of that. He just worried about coaching. That's what he And he complained about that in his press conference all the time. He's like, I like the structure. They they handle everything for me. All I have to do is just work on the team day to day. You could tell yeah, the type of manager, but, tactics. He likes but, here, but, but But here's where, this oh, is where I feel like they got rid of Tuchel, oh. right? Because these nowadays younger players... You have to if you cannot be a manager and not be involved in the recruitment of the players. It's impossible. It's imp these younger players. They've been they're, they're being recruited and, and treated with pet gloves from age five and four. So if you if you tell hey, I want to bring you to my squad, but yet, yet the manager don't even want to come and meet with me and tell me what's his plan for me. You don't have a chance. So if, if if it's between that and say a Ten Hag or, or a Pep or a Klopp and they're willing to sit down and talk with you, then Tuku is not he's never gonna win. He's never gonna be able to get a young player. He's not gonna be able to get him. And he's not interested in them either, which I, I which I don't think mesh with, with, with the plan that they have also. Right. No, right. I, 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 yeah. wait, wait, go on. we gotta end it there because I've got I've got to go on to another pod. Big up Zach before we go saying going to the Dortmund game. Wishful thinking for these to give a performance. Leeds game will probably answer that for me. Well, if we lose to Leeds, I expect a club um, a statement by the next morning, personally. And if that happens, we probably do beat Dortmund. We probably do. Adrian also says, took a four-year hiatus from watching football to focus on life. 
I started watching from preseason, and I'm now being subjected to that's life. But, oh dear, you started now, <laughs> bro. Huh. I, Long uh, season, bro. Should have waited another year. Years. Madness. Ha. Fucking madness. Sorry, I didn't want to end the debate because we were having a good discussion, but I have to head over to the Chelsea podcast, so I have to bounce. Right, we'll be back man. tomorrow. Yeah. Leeds United preview. Scott, hope you're looking forward to it. Up the Chelsea. Take it easy.